Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Monday live stream. Happy Monday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone had a great Easter weekend. And today is April Fool's Day, so don't believe anything you hear or read today, basically. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, as always. Had a relaxing day yesterday, just had some chicken pot pie and basically took it easy. Watched some of the UFL Football League, which is pretty decent. Hello to Greg Jonix, Ziggy for the Facts, Jeff Gunner, Sean Stevenson, Jesse Green, Parson, Erica, Carrie Ann. Hey, Adam L. Great to see you. Hey, Ryan. Welcome in. Hey, Texas Dave. Her chili gets released from jail today. I don't think so, but... <laughs> no, he wasn't dumb. That would have... <laughs> that would be crazy if that ever happened. Got a ton of, quite a few Sovereign Citizen videos lined up for today. And pretty sure at least one or two of them has a window break. So that's going to be interesting to take a look at. Hey, Luna Knights. Great to see you. And yes, April Fools. <laughs> I've already seen a few, like, fake articles and news headlines going around about just random sports stuff and wrestling stuff. Never believe that on April Fool's Day, for sure. Yeah, I did hear that Chili, he's trying to appeal his sentence, so I personally don't think it's going to go anywhere, but... You never know, honestly, so that will be something to keep an eye on. Just giving people a few minutes here to join us before we get into the videos. And yeah, hopefully, like I said, everyone had a great Easter. And I guess, and I thought I saw this on the news this morning, but I guess... We are going to be getting hit up here with another nor'easter. Thought the snow was done for the year, but apparently not. My brother used to get me every April Fool's Day, so there is a reminder on the calendar to never believe anything Josh, Josh says. Little did I know that would come true for the rest of my life. <laughs> hey, all wheat skador. Good morning. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Raven Wing, great to see you, as always, my friend. Hey, Casey, good to see you as well. Like, so this is a little unrelated, but before the stream, I was trying to do some edits to my camera setup, and maybe it's just me, but the camera does look a little more sharp and clearer than usual. Hey, Gary W., Great to see when the circuit court sees the footage or reads the transcript from his trial, no doubt they'll agree with the verdict and sentence. Hopefully, and I think that's probably what's going to happen, honestly. So, all right. I think it's time for us to jump into some videos. Like I said, we have, I think we have like either two or three soft videos lined up, and then we'll see where it goes after that. I know some of you have been sending me some body cam videos over on the Discord and through my email. So we probably take a look at some of those as well. As a little kid, I got my grandma with a fake ink spill on my parents' new carpet in which she was babysitting for us brats. She freaked out and never forgot the rest of her 98 years. <laughs> that 
is a good prank right there. If Trilly can keep his trap shut and not call the bailiff a pig and not disrespect the court and judge, he might just... Nah, he's going to jail for a while. Yep, still has... It's only a few weeks into his sentence. He's got all the way six months till September. I think if he serves the full sentence, his rele release date is September 15th. So hopefully he'll be in jail for a while. So this first video we're going to take a look at today is Van Balian's latest video. And I did see this one, but this one is good. It's just full of the sovereign citizen word salad that we all know. Of course he's going to argue that the penalty was too severe. Like, any time locked in the dungeon is too severe for Chile. <laughs> so this video is called Sovereign Citizen Gets His Window Busted After Getting the Worst Legal Advice Ever. Let's roll the video. You're going to bust my window. Listen, that's a $13,000 window if you break it. That's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. My vehicle is worth a lot. Of, this is my vehicle. It's worth a lot of money to me. Please do not harm us. Can I talk to your sergeant, please? Hey, Methodist Steve. Great to see you. Welcome back to the Van Balian channel, guys. Today we head back to Nebraska, courtesy of this arrogant and misogynistic soft sit, who we last saw driving off after being warned not to. Of course. And I remember this dude. We, I'm pretty sure we saw this first video a couple weeks ago here on the live stream. And I basically called this dude a complete jackass at the time. Of course, traffic stops are more or less a daily occurrence for him because he got pulled over again recently. But the video, which was posted as a shot, cuts off just as the officer asks him to step out of the vehicle. Anyway, it turns out this guy has been pulling this traveling, not driving grift for years. And today we're going to take a look at his first traffic stop where, as a passenger, he coaches the driver all the way to a window bust while claiming to be his lawyer. Hey, Tony. Great to see you, my friend. Right. Let's get into the video. I'm Officer Rubu, Belver Police Department. I stopped you tonight. You've got a vision obstruction on your windshield there. I know. Do you have a badge number? And So just for the record, this video that we're watching, this incident took place in 2015. So about nine years ago. And this guy, after nine years, still hasn't figured out that the sovereign citizen BS doesn't work. Like, really, it's either just complete ignorance at that point, or just he doesn't want to learn at all. Like, the, the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. It's just pure freaking insanity. Hey, Liz D, great to see you. And no, this is not the squeak video. Mm. 297. 297? Right. What's your name? Ruby. Ruby? Yeah. And who do you work for? Melbourne Police Department. What's your name? Okay. Can I get your driver's license registered? You, 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 you can hang on just a second. What's Why your name? You? No, not hang on. Hang on just a second. Driver's license what? registration, hey. proof of insurance. Peaceful people. That's what we are. What, what's your name, officer? Can you can you pronounce your name? We're just doing things by the book. If you if you understand, throw your window down and talk to him. What's your name, officer? Yeah, we need to have this stuff documented just in case. That a crime? Just, just in case what? We have to go to court. What law? It's documented. Mm -hmm. Huh? You know well, which uh, story law? Sure. What's your what's my your badge name? number is one ninety two. And who do you work for? The Bellevue Police Department. Do you have an ID on you? I, I don't carry an ID. Hang, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I see it, please? Okay, why? 
Why do you need to see that? Because, because I need to know that you're an officer sworn to uphold the Constitution. Hang, hang on, hang on. Okay, a no, 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 no. photo ID, sir. No, sir. Photo ID, sir, please. Is that okay? Dude, come on. If the police uniform and marked car with blue flashing lights didn't convince you that he's a police officer, then an ID card won't. But then again, this is not about their credibility, is it? It's about your urge to control the situation due to your narcissism. You are required. No, sir, I'm not. You were no, not by you. no, not by common law. I'm not. No. You, you, what you are. You're being detained. I'm being detained right now. Under, uh, hang, hang on, hang on. Under, under. Look, this this has nothing to do with common law. This, this has to do with statutes, which we're not under jurisdiction of statutes. So, okay. So he's saying, you know, we we don't fall under your jurisdiction. All right. So, if what you're saying is true, and if you really thought. You know, the police had no authority or jurisdiction over you. Why did you stop for them in the first place? Like, see, a subset is never able to answer that question. If you really thought they had no authority or jurisdiction, you don't fall under their laws, why pull over for the road pirates? Hey, Anastasia, great to see you, my friend. Oh, what? Not under jurisdiction of the statutes. How's that? Because we operate under common law. Martial right. law has. Anytime you operate a motor vehicle on any state. This, is not a motor this vehicle, isn't a motor right? vehicle. Did we... No, 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 no. Not, no. no, we are no. traveling. I'm traveling. Traveling down the road. Going to be traveling to jail in a no, few minutes. No, sir. No, sir. We're not. We travel in Paris for a reason because we know the law. We travel in Paris for a reason because we know the law. Excuse me for a moment while I throw up. Yeah, they're just two innocent boat captains getting harassed by road pirates for no reason other than no plates and a busted windshield, of course, and soon to be busted outside window, which apparently costs in $13,000 to replace. Yeah, right, but more on that later. Also, common law, known as judicial precedent, judge-made law, or case law, is the body of law created by judges and similar quasi-judicial tribunals by virtue of being stated in written opinions, and not whatever you pulled from your backside just then. Hey, name and we know how to user. operate, and Thanks we to we're peaceful you. people. We're not. We're not here to, you know, to, you know, make your guys' authority seem any less or anything like that. We just want to make sure that we're all safe. That's all. Okay. And I've given you the reason for the stop. Why don't you let him talk to him? Okay. You're not you're not have anything to do with the stop. He's the driver. Okay. You're being stopped for the windshield violation. Okay. It's an obstructed view and having one plate. Okay. So you be quiet, let him handle it. Okay. In other words, shut your pile because you're gonna talk yourself and the driver into a pair of silver bracelets. Unfortunately, the passenger is an arrogant narcissist with an overwhelming need to be in control, so that's never going to happen, is it? That's not how it works, obviously. It is how it works. Can that's you not a supervisor? I'm, I'm, like it's I said, how it works. It's how it's going to work tonight. You understand me? No, I don't understand. You be quiet. No, I don't understand. You conduct understand. the traffic stop how it's supposed to be done, okay? Do you want to engage in commerce with okay. me? I need three forms of ID, like I said. We'll get you out of here as soon as we can. Okay. I already got it going. You got it? Is this all about the windshield? Is this all about the windshield? Well, the windshield, Nebraska state law also says that you have to have two plates on your vehicle. You've can, only I, got one. can I interrupt real quick? I'm his lawyer. I'm his legal counsel. And that's fine. All right. So hey, hey, I, I, I asked. First off, no, you're not. You are neither his lawyer or legal counsel. Just because you watched a couple of YouTube videos that spread misinformation doesn't mean you're a lawyer or that you know the law. Because it's actually the exact opposite. You don't know the law, and you're just parroting what every other Sovereign Citizen YouTube video has said. You let him talk to I, the driver. Okay. I got it. I'm his you're legal. Not, you're not I'm, the, you're, you're I the am his. Agent. He's responsible for the car. Officer, okay. I am He's his. He's responsible for the car. This okay. is. This. He's responsible for the car. He's the driver. Okay. See, so if this guy's a lawyer, then I'm a freaking astronaut. 
seriously. With legal counsel like this, who needs enemies? Seriously, if you're stupid enough to think any one of these cops fell for that I'm his lawyer and legal counsel line, then you seriously need your head examined. And that obviously didn't happen because it's 2024 and you're still pulling this grift. Okay. This is our vehicle. Okay, he's driving it. By okay. law, to give any idea. Of, I'm not. Look, I have a right to privacy, sir. Not when you're on the roadway. Yes, I am. Can you can you this call? This is not a can, motor vehicle. Can you call a sergeant, please? Call a sergeant. I'm I'm just. All right. I don't I don't want to give you guys a hard time. I know. Look, you guys got a lot of stuff to do. I don't want to bother you. I just just want to be on my way, man. Well, we'd get you on your way if you give me the documents. That's it's, that, it's, it's look, all on, man. Really. Exactly. That cop is 100% spot on. You, with the help of your so-called lawyer and legal counsel, are the ones prolonging this. This could have been a five, maybe ten minute stop at the most, but you're both too stupid to realise it. And that's what makes you guys so entertaining to watch, even though this video was recorded nine years ago. All you got to do is give me a driver's license registration proof. Can't do it, yeah, sir. because I joined her and I don't want to do that. See, now it's been a while since I've heard a sovereign citizen say that. I don't want to create joinder with you. Like, dude. And I know this video is from a while ago, but I haven't heard a sovereign cit citizen say that line probably in a couple of years now. My name is Steven. Steven that's 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 all I care to give right now. Steven? Yeah. Uh, please no. <laughs> is, does the law require what? me to step out? Yes. No, Why? it does not. <laughs> Why? You listen. This is being automatically uploaded to the cloud. I'm just that's letting. Fine. We're recording everything too. Hey, I, I get that. I okay, get what? that. But this is our. Shut up. This is our personal property. Okay, first of all, does the law require me to step out of my vehicle? Well, yes, it's called Pennsylvania versus Mims. Look it up if you can be bothered. Now, nah, forget that because you don't care for the law as seen in this and your latest video. Secondly, what's with the driver shouting shut up out of nowhere? Even his so-called quote-unquote lawyer passenger friend was a little bit freaked out by that. Maybe he could benefit from an anger management course and you a basic civics class, if you ever make it back to reality, that is. Okay, why do I have to step out of the car? Why? Hey, slide why? 100. Great to see we need, you. We need to know hey, why before we, we continue. Step out of the car for me like yeah. I've asked you four times. Hey. I want you. You're, you're a peace officer, sir. You are a peace officer. You're supposed to create. Hey. I am trying to I am trying to keep the peace. I'm trying to keep the peace. Something tells me this guy doesn't know what the word peace means. I don't know what your problem is. We're not we're not throwing it. This is my private property and there is no trespassing. With all due respect, can we talk to your son? Oh man, I love when these idiots put no trespassing signs on their freaking cars as they're traveling down the road on a public roadway. Like, no, that's not how this works. You don't you don't get to make your car private when you're driving on a public roadway when you're required to follow the freaking rules and laws of the road. You don't get to pick and choose which laws you want to follow. That's not how any of this BS works. If you want to remain private, how about you create your own roads and use your own private roads to do whatever the hell you want? Or better yet, go somewhere where there's no requirement for a driver's license. But I guarantee you, you won't, you'll probably won't be able to find a place like that anywhere in the civilized world. End of rants. Sergeant, hey, please. Who's a sergeant? Yeah, can I? That's what I asked for in the first place. Can we talk to your sergeant, Holy please? Shit. Huh? I'm not gonna tell you anything any it doesn't matter. Get to your sergeant. Please. We're asking, please. You're gonna step out of the car, I'm gonna take you out of the car. No, okay, sir. I'm asking politely for your sergeant so I can speak to your sergeant. Why is that such a big deal? Is this necessary? 
What, hey. what, con what country are we living in right well, now? Here's the deal. No, hey, there is no deal. Listen, you, you live in the same country. I don't have anything that's All right. Uh, we have a problem with jurisdiction. I'm, I'm, I'm right cool. Right I don't have, I don't have no. to cooperate with you. There's no law that says I have to cooperate with you. I know I don't have any issue with you, but is this really necessary? We got three cop cars on us. We're, we're not doing anything wrong. Really? That's all I got. Huh? I know. I'm just saying. Okay. Well, I got two forms of documents, which I'm going to show you out of stress and duress. I need to see the quote. I'm going to show you out of stress and duress on a T-shirt somewhere and a slightly altered version for a mug that reads, I made you this coffee out of stress and duress. And then on a billboard just for the hell of it. I mean, the possibilities are endless with that quote. Because you're going to pull me out and beat the shit out of me, probably, if I don't show no, you. We're going to pull you out and place you under arrest for no proof of ownership. Oh, okay. sure. Okay, so so now I need, a, I need a proof of ownership, and then I can be on my way? We'll see. Uh, it smells like you've been drinking. Oh, oh okay. sir. Yeah. No, sir. Well, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. I can smell through the back of the window with some guessing why you don't want to roll down the window. No, sir. Oh, okay. this, right. is a, this is for our protection. So I'm going to show you this out of stress and duress. You can label it however you want. Okay. Those are the laws. You're probably still gonna have to get out of the vehicle. No. What can you call a sheriff? Nope. Yeah, I need I need you to call no. a sheriff. Yeah. Get me. Stress and duress sounds like what Dr. Seuss would say if he were a sopsit. It really does sound like that would be something Dr. Seuss would say. Uh, now that would be a fun book to read. Dr. Seuss the Sopsit edition. Listen, the, the sheriff is the law of the land. They they supersede you guys. We know how the system works. I'm not trying to overthrow you guys or anything. Listen, the sheriff rules all. When 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 shit liar. goes down, oh, I'm a liar. Don't worry. Don't give me that sheriff rules all BS. You treat the sheriff's office with the same contempt you treat these officers with. Also, I thought the Constitution was the law of the land, but now it's the sheriff. You guys really do make it up as you go along. It's ridiculous. I'm just getting a lighter. Yep, you're fine. You got a lighter on you? Don't reach, reach in your pockets for stuff. You understand me? I need a lighter. Don't shoot me, please. What? Does it look like I'm going to shoot you? I don't know, man. You guys are armed. You know how much bullshit I've seen on the news lately about you guys I fucking... I not to light that cigarette, didn't I? Thank you, Jack Gunner, for the ten dollars super chat. Thank you for your support, my friend. I appreciate it. You need to step out of the car right now. No, sir. But your last morning, sir. Well, I'm, can you please let us talk I'm to the peaceful, I'm to a the, peaceful to the person, sergeant, please. No. Please. No, you're in the city of Bellevue right now, and this is the commander. There's nobody else to talk to. I no, want to I talk need, to I need the a sergeant. Like anybody's answers anyway, need you? a sheriff, sir. You're not getting a sheriff, and you're going to get out of the car. No, no sir. I need a sheriff. By law, you're required to get a sheriff here. Yeah, you are. No, they're not. But not by any means at all are they required to call a sheriff just because you demand it. And even if they did call a sheriff, the sheriff would just tell you the same exact thing and you still wouldn't agree with them and you would demand the sheriff's supervisor. It's all just a delay tactic. It's not It's not going to work and these cops aren't going to play that game. Or what is wrong with you? you? Are you a rogue cop? Dude, come on. You're not really in a position to call them rogue cops when you're the one making up laws and asserting rights that don't exist. Am I a rogue or a rogue? Rogue. I'm a cop trying to get my job done on a Friday. Okay, we, we, I, wanna, I gotcha. we want to help you get your job done. I promise we're not here to detain you guys or hold you up. Are we free to go or are we allowed? my to... window out? If you're not going to get out of the car, yeah. You're going to bust my window out. Listen, that's a $13,000 window if you break it. Okay, I guarantee you that window of yours does not cost $13,000. BS right there. At most, maybe that window is worth maybe a couple hundred, but thirteen grand? <laughs> no way. Nope. And if you really paid thirteen grand for a window, dude, you got freaking ripped off. A lot of money. It is a lot of money. My vehicle is worth a lot. Of, 
this is my vehicle. It's worth a lot of money to me. Please do not harm us. Do you know, if lying was a national sport, you'd win first prize because there is no way that car window costs $13,000. But in the event that you were stupid enough to pay that much for a piece of glass, and I believe you were, then you're stupid enough to let the police break it instead of unlocking the door and you stepping out. Speaking of which, let's get to what we all came here for. Hey, Seth, great to see Can you. Can I talk to your sergeant, please? Hey, Greg Jonick, Knight Rider. Can I please talk to your sergeant? This they're going to break. They're going to. They're going to tear our window out. No, sir. Hey. Why? Why is that necessary? Get out of the car. I'm not getting out of anything. Yep. This is not cool, dude. Please. And the window went bye bye. But of course, the sovereign citizen doesn't know how to film his this traffic stop. Day flight repair, safe flight replace. Day flight. Please. Hey, 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 hey. I'm. Okay, look. Stay right hey, there. hey, hey. Wait. I have to record this. Don't touch me. Just cooperate with what we're doing. Why? Why do I have to listen? Hey. Yeah. I am. Do we understand what we're doing? Do we have the weapons on you? Hey, Patrick. Why am I being arrested? I have, no, I have done nothing. Yeah. You broke my window, man. Hey, Kelly McDonald's. Great to see you as always. All right, what am I being detained for? I, I, I just need that. Hey, why is my passenger? They never learn, Jim. That is a good point, Gary. Right, so that was way back in 2015, so what, nine years ago now? He obviously didn't learn his lesson from this because he still pulls this same grift to this day. Never has the quote, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results been more appropriate. But here's something to look forward to. His camera work has improved. So the next time he gets his window busted out, we might actually see it. Right, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the an excellent video from Van Ballion. And if you somehow aren't subscribed to Van, be sure to subscribe to him. Boy. <laughs> Stupidity at its finest right there. And I have a feeling we'll be seeing that soft sit again soon. Probably sooner rather than later. <laughs> So this next video I want to play is from Dummy Kruger. And I did see a couple of parts of this video. Like I kind of jumped around a little bit. But I didn't actually sit and watch the entire thing. Because I wanted to watch the full thing here on the live stream. So this is called the Wildest Sovereign Citizen video this year. 15 minute car chase plus arrest. Welcome to the Dummy Kruger channel, everyone. Today's video takes us on a police chase in Blythe, California, where we witness a don't you dare call me sovereign citizen, sovereign citizen, attempting to assert his right to travel, which he does so successfully for approximately 25 minutes until he meets a set of spike strips.
he decides to flee from the police, asserting that he is, quote, a free man who will not comply with unlawful orders. How did he come to this conclusion that being pulled over on this interstate was unlawful? According to him, it's because he knows he wasn't breaking the law, and to prove his point, he decides to commit a felony. Just a heads up before we get started, the audio is really good throughout, but the video quality isn't always the best. Let's jump right in. Might look like nothing's going on here, but there is a pig just tailing me right on my tail for no reason. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you guys see the screen. Oh, did I forget to mention that he's in a Tesla with a bird while running from the police? In front of me. There he is. I'm not speeding. Got 56 miles an hour. Uh, doing nothing but minding my own business, driving safe on the road here. Driving safe on the road, he says, as he has a freaking parrot on his shoulder and also has his phone in one hand recording. But according to him, he's driving safe. Oh, boy. Not to mention that now he's running from the cops, which should be a... That's a, just a felony right there. Oh, boy. Can't make... Can't, you really can't make this stuff up, folks. It, I'm willing to bet you the parrot has a higher IQ than this guy. You gotta always film every police interaction, no matter what. Start at the very beginning, because these are liars, they're thieves, they're kidnappers, they're extortionists, and they're murderers. No matter what happens here, yep, he should I'm be going to stand my ground. He should be charged with animal no abuse. I will not give an inch. This is why you always need to travel prepared, ready. I'm going to go ahead and lane change back into my right lane because, again, I see this cop is following me. And, again, he's just tailing. He's stalking. He's being a, a fucking stalker. This right here will be the California Highway Patrol. Can you trust them? Hell no. I don't know you can't trust these some bitches. True, Adam. I didn't even realize that. Very fitting he's listening to It Ain't No Crime Radio. <laughs> the irony there. He's a dirty, dirty, dirty pig. I promise you, the man inside that vehicle is on drugs. He's most likely using methamphetamine. And I will say it, like I was talking about during the last video, why pull over if you think the cop has no authority? Well, I gotta give this guy a few points. At least he isn't stopping. So he's just making himself look like a complete ass racking up charges, though. Classic. Classic projection by our free man on the land. Because two of his charges stemming from this incident happen to be driving under the influence of a drug and possession of a controlled substance and there really is no place to pull over right now so pulling over is not going to be a, an option and even when he flips his lights on i am not going to comply so look he wants to pull me over i'm not going to do it i'm i'm not speeding i've committed no crimes i don't give a shit that he rolls his lights and one thing I'll never get with these sovereign citizens, and honestly, not even sovereign citizens these days, just criminals in general, they, a lot of these criminals will film their crimes, and then they are dumb enough to post their crimes on the internet for the world to see. Seriously, if I was committing a crime, the last thing I would do is be walking around with my camera filming everything I do. It's just stupid. It's no logic. Hopefully the prosecutor uses your own video against you. Flashes his lights, does code three. He can do the f whatever he feels like at this point. Me, I'm not going to comply. To comply is to die. Throughout the video, you'll hear plenty of extremist and anti-government ideologies similar to this. 
This man simply doesn't believe the laws of our nation apply to him. And before anyone mentions it in the comments, no, this was definitely not lost on me. The officer is about to turn on their sirens. Go ahead and get crazy, Piggy. You ain't getting me. No, not today, Piggy. Not today, Piggy. Another bad prediction by a sovereign citizen. Let him go ahead and tail me, blow his horn all f***ing day. I've committed no crimes, suspected of committing no crimes. Guys, we had a little interruption in service there. Keep praying for me. This piggy's on my ass. He's got his, he's doing code three. I'm not speeding. Guys, anyone out there who can call the, uh, go ahead and call uh, the California Highway Patrol right now. Um, I am 31 miles outside of Blythe, California at this moment. And again, I've committed absolutely no crime. Again, as I've stated, I'm not. I'm sorry to keep pausing, but, but really, just listening to this guy, I have committed no crime as he's currently running from the police with a freaking bird on his shoulder while filming all of this. But he didn't commit a crime, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Edward, good morning, my friend. And good morning, Matthew. Good to see you. I'm not going to comply. I've broke no laws, haven't speeded, haven't sped, have done absolutely nothing to be chased by the cops for, suspected of no crimes. So no, I'm not going to pull over for this year. Guys, pray for me. Get to sharing this stuff, please. The more eyes that see this, the better it is for everyone, me included. And will somebody please call my father? Call my dad right now. His number. Um, no, you're a grown-ass adult. At least that's what you think you are. Why do you want your dad? Holy sh crap. That's his home phone. Please call him. And if you can't get hold of him, leave a message. Oh, man, would I love to hear some of his father's messages after this. Um, sir, this is Charles from the YouTubes. And um, your son would like for you to call him because he's currently running from some tyrants. I know you're in Montana and he's on the interstate in California, but maybe just give him a buzz. Thank you for what you do, Patriot. Charles out. This guy is on drugs. He's absolutely on drugs. Watch this, guys. I'm going to pull him. Check this out. Just going to let him know I'm fucking going with him. Great call when he stops it. Now I've got a buffer between him and I. You, buddy. Yeah, he sure got him there. That buffer lasted all of two seconds. They can try whatever they want, guys. Fuck them in their stupid little pit maneuver attempts. There's more pigs right there. Look at this. They're just trying to raise money for the holidays by shaking people down. They think that this is going to work out for them. It will fucking not. I promise you this is going to backfire all over these piggies. They don't know who I am. They ain't got no reason to do this. I'm just a regular old guy. Minding my own business, driving safe. Let's see, my insurance is up to date, my registration's up to date, and again, I wasn't speeding, not driving reckless, and had absolutely no reason for them to profile me. What he doesn't know is that I'm a much smarter person than him, and I've got the full force of the United States Constitution on my side, and I got y'all, my good friends, and y'all's prayers. You piggy! You fuck 
you piggy. Come on, guys, sing with me. Fuck you, piggy. Fuck you, piggy. Fuck you, piggy. Fuck you, piggy. Fuck you, I will not do what you tell me. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Uh, so many bad predictions here. This is not going to end well for him. I want you all to see my face. Do I look scared? No. I got ice in my veins. I'm the Jaguar man, guys. F*** this pig. I'll make dinner out of him. Dinner and lunch. So I've always been curious about what goes on inside of a vehicle that is running from the police. Singing F you piggies with a parrot hoisted on a shoulder is not something I would have ever guessed. Hmm. The more you know. Y'all at this very moment, I'm live streaming for two from two devices because dirty pigs are tra chasing me. I am now in an active chase. These cops are chasing me for no reason. No reason whatsoever. And I refuse. I refuse to comply because I've broken no laws. And I will I will not obey any illegal directive. I will force this to give up. I give zero f to these chasing me. Zero. Hey Holden, it's been a while. Great to see you. Here we go. Oh, Here's another well. piggy joining the chase. We got another one. Hey, Abby. Woo! Spinning his tires. Guys, get to sharing this. Get more eyes on this shit, please. I am not safe unless I'm being prayed for and being watched over. Right now, you're not safe because of your own stupidity. You think it's a great idea to run from the cops, and now you're surprised that more cops are joining the chase. Like, I love how these idiots think sometimes. Look, there's more cops. Why are there more cops? Why the hell do you think there are more cops, you little freaking idiot? Seriously. What do you expect when you're running from the cops? I need y'all's prayers, guys. I need y'all's prayers. Now, I've got the, the United States Constitution, guys. It is right here in my lap. Right there, y'all. When it comes down to it, Simply because that's the he's book delusional. I'm going to throw at these fuckers. If I do have any conversations with them, I will not answer their questions. I will force them to answer mine. I'll make sure that they are uh, forced to, uh, I compel them to uh, show me a copy of their oath of office. And I will force them to name and prove on the spot what they are f***ing doing with me. Spoiler alert, but none of that comes to fruition because spike strips and less lethal munitions. Trying to impede my legal right to travel even though I have registration and insurance. Just because I look like I'm an out-of-stater or a tourist that they could take advantage of. Yes, yes, he looks totally like an out-of-stater driving a Tesla S in California. Thanks, guys. I need everybody to go ahead and just call. Call on down in De call Desert Center, California. Go ahead and call the f***ing cops in Desert Center. Tell them to get off my ass because they have no idea they're about to ruin their careers and lose their qualified immunity over this shit. All right, I'm willing to bet anyone right now. I guarantee you the cops did not lose their qualified immunity or their jobs or nothing because of this idiot. Guarantee you. So anyway, I've got two, at least two highway patrolmen on my tail. That makes a total of uh, at least eight guns they've got. These guys are are, uh, are nothing but worthless and kidnappers.
Please, guys, get to sharing this. Get to watching it. Keep praying. Keep praying. You know, this guy, he keeps asking his viewers to pray for him. And all I can think about is the sovereign citizen who prayed for Donald Trump to save him. Boy, he's this guy is right up there with that guy. Call my brother. Call my brother. His name is Obadiah again. Look at this, guys. Look at this. You, you can see him. They're trying to flank me. Every time I do a lane change, I'm sure that I signal, look over my shoulder, check my mirrors, and it's safe. I'm not some freaking idiot. And that, my friends, is an important life lesson. Never forget, while evading the police and allegedly under the influence of a controlled substance with your pet bird, always remain within the law. Check for blind spots and, of course, always remember to use your turn signal. That's just common sense. Look, there's a person who's in need of help right there and right in there. Those guys just pulled out a tack strip and tried to pop my tires. And maneuvering right there, guys. Maneuvered them. Mm, nope. Oh, two tires are out. I've got no choice but to pull over. What I'm going to do, though, is going to shock them. Look, guys, they got their guns out. They want to asshole. They, what would you expect, dude? You just ran from the cops. But, you know, it's funny. When you were on all four tires, you kept bragging how you're never going to stop for the cops. And then because they busted, they popped two of your tires, you cover up so quickly and stop. And now you're surprised that they are holding you at gunpoint right now? But what is going through your head? Like, how did you see this ending? Like, were they going to tell you? Did you think they were going to tell you, sorry for disturbing you, have a nice day? Like, no, that's not how this works. You can do it. You owe me two new tires. You owe me two new tires. You owe me two new tires right a fucking way. And, oh my God. You owe me. Those. No. Which one of you guys knows what fucking law you're, you're, you're from here? Which one of you bitches knows what law you think I broke? What did I break? Name one. Oh, 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 I got this one. Felony evading. And where's your fucking oath of office? Get your damn supervisor out here right fucking now, you little You guys are fucking bitch ass, coward, fucking pigs. Nobody's getting out of the car for you. No one's going to surrender and no one's coming out. Fuck you all. Call my lawyer, guys. Call my lawyer. He doesn't have a lawyer. As a matter of fact, in part two of this video, we see him fire his public defender. And after he fires his public defender, he attempts to kind of represent himself, but not really. He's there to represent the, quote, kidnapped victim. Pray, guys. Pray, pray, pray. I need God right now. I need the Lord to help save me. I need deliverance right here, right now. If anyone has the link for part two of this video, because I'm not sure if it's been posted yet, Post it in the chat room for me, please. Right now, from these pigs, they pop my tires. They got guns out. I present no threat to any of these. I'm just a man with the Constitution. Look at that. That's the United States Constitution. They about to try and shoot me through it. Mother, mother, and no, I ain't getting out of this vehicle. Go ahead, buddy. Go on. Go on. Read that first. Read this right here. Read this shit, bitch. Read it. <clears throat> nope. No, you don't. No. Not today, Piggy. Not today. Safe like repair, safe like replace. Per the police report, the officers used less than lethal munitions here. Unfortunately, that wasn't enough to stop our freedom fighter because he attempts to flee once again with a broken window and two flat tires. Oh. 
They're trying to you guys. They're trying to They're just trying to y'all. I'm not going to surrender. Surrender is not an option. These guys are nothing but murderous pigs. 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 They're just. They don't want to do nothing but. They don't want to do anything but, guys. So now he's running again. danger to try and me. They are willing to shoot that man behind me to me. They got nothing against me. I broke no laws. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Jesus, save me. Lord Jesus, please save me. Yep. This is all I've got. All yep. I can do is hide behind this poor man in front of him. Look at my bird. Yep, it was right before Christmas when this happened. Uh, now you're worried about your bird? You haven't been concerned about your bird this entire freaking pursuit. And now you're worried about your bird? Hopefully, animal control took the bird away from you. And hopefully, you also get charged with animal cruelty and animal abuse. Look at my bird! He's scared to shit! You're For a fuck, what? ass! Why do you bitches want to me? Why? Tell me why! Oh, dear Lord, please come help me. Dear Lord, please rescue me from these, these, these. God have mercy on me. Please. Lord have mercy. Ah! Oh, thank God I trained for this shit. Thank God I trained for this shit. Thank God I trained for this. Oh, dear Lord. Lord have mercy. You trained for this, dude? Well, you did. You're doing a horrible job if you trained for this. Holy crap. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Dear Lord. Don't do drugs, kids. Do not do drugs. Lord, save me. Dear Lord, please save me. Save me, God. Save me, God. Save me, God. Save me, God. Guys, get my lawyer on the phone. Get my lawyer on the phone right now. I'm talking to my attorney right now, asshole. You cannot help me while I'm on the phone with my attorney. Stop it. Call my attorney, please. Call my attorney. Call my attorney. Oh God, help me, no! No! I'm on the phone with my lawyer! Stop it! Stop it! Well, that's a shame. He never got that oath of office. Valentino Vanderbilt was charged with one count of evading arrest, one count of driving under the influence of a drug, one count of possession of a controlled substance, and one count of carrying a loaded firearm. Like I mentioned earlier, this is only half of the story. Vanderbilt would eventually make bail after 13 days, where he immediately made his way to Montana, where his family lives. He didn't check in with his parole officer as per his agreement or go to court, resulting in a warrant for his arrest. Part two comes out tomorrow. We get to see him go full soft sit. In one fell swoop, 
he dismisses his own case while also demanding $333 million from his alleged kidnappers. I promise you guys, you don't want to miss this follow-up. All right, everyone, thanks for coming by today. This is Dummy Kruger. An excellent video from Dummy Kruger. And I just looked on his page, and part two isn't up yet. But hopefully it gets posted soon, because I would... I am interested in seeing how all that went down. He he tried to dismiss his own case because of course he did. Boy, this is straight up drugs and delusion. Hey, Linty Pindy, great to see you. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, hopefully... Hopefully he can post that soon so we can watch and laugh at it. Boy, so let's see this next video that I have lined up. Let me see. Where is that link? I have, I have so many things open right now. Let's see. Here it is. The Here's the video from Bama Mike. Bama Mike posted a Sovereign Citizen video yesterday, it looks like. So we can take a look at that. So this is titled Sovereign Citizen. Angela Bay gets herself into a sticky situation. Now, I showed you this video a few weeks ago, but pay attention to what she says here. Hello, I'm Mr. Cross. Can you please see your driver's license? You're stopping because your tag is expired. No, it's not. Uh, when I ran it, it's coming back expired. We'll figure it out. Do you have your driver's I license? Just, I just got it. Um, he said, so I bought the car a month ago, and he said that there was a problem. She tells the officer she bought that car a month ago, but I found this video from two years prior where she was driving the same exact car. Okay. Um, they're trying the whole sovereign citizen stuff? No, he is. She's been real cool. Well, ignore him then because she's the driver. And he, yeah. She's the issue. Her right. license has been suspended since 2016. No, Edward, I haven't seen that movie. Maybe I will, eventually. Okay. You ran it? The VIN comes back to the to the vehicle. Okay. So that was... Never been cool. registered or what? I don't know. Is yours? She said she bought the car today. Hello, ma'am. Monster Wilson with the Honda B. How are you doing? Do me a favor, cut the car off. Okay. So, your license is suspended, okay? Um, that being said, we plan on just giving you a ticket with a notice to appear for a court date, okay? However, we can't let you drive away in the car with without having a license. I understand that... My little brother's house is... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I understand this gentleman doesn't want to identify himself, and that's fine. However, however... Without a, a person with a valid driver's license, we are not going to let this car move any further down the road. So, your choices are, if he has a driver's license, he can show it to us. That's one choice. Two, you can make a phone call. I don't know if your brother has a valid license. He can show up here and he can remove the car, okay? Or anybody that's got a valid driver's license. Got a valid driver's license, okay? Now, I'm talking to her, sir. Can you tell me why Okay. I can check before before we let you go, but you have multiple suspensions on your driver's license. But I'll let you know what it says before we let you go. But it's been suspended since 2019, and you don't have your driver's license with you, so it's pretty clear that you already knew it was suspended. Um, you already have one previous conviction, all right, for driving on a suspended license. This will. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. So we're trying to work with you by letting you know. We don't want to have to tow your car, okay, so make that phone call or right, square call square up uh, common sense with this gentleman. Okay, all right. Either way, we're gonna go work on that. 
Yeah. We clear? Yeah. You're gonna all right. Get all of them off right over here. Okay. Right. He has a license. Um, just make sure. No, I don't care. It just who? It yeah. could be the Pope. As long as right he's got a good driver's right. license and he yeah. can move the car. Okay. It's just got to be some license that can drive. Okay. Don't get baited in with that nonsense. All right, ma'am. So, like I said, we cited you with uh, one count of driving on suspended license and one count of failure to register a motor vehicle. Signing this doesn't admit guilt. It's just saying instead of physically going to the Broward County Jail tonight, you promised to appear at July 22nd, 9.30 in the morning at the Hollywood South Satellite Courthouse. You're going to have a copy of everything here, okay? It's going to have all the information on it. So she clearly had the car in 2020 when she told them she had just bought it. And also between 2020 and this 2022 stop that I've already shown you, Miss Viangela Bay has gone up to Colorado to learn the ways of the sovereign citizen. And while she was up there, she picked up an aggravated burglary charge. She fled back to Florida instead of going to court in Colorado, and it catches up to her. I got to get my box on. I have my national ID card. From what and the standard fake Moorish sovereign citizen BSID Aboriginal American National Identification Car Substantive Birthrights Freaking just the standard sovereign citizen BS instead of name it says Appalachian natural person nationality autograph oh my god like really you could probably go to freaking staples and have something that looks exactly like that made for you it means nothing it's not a real id oh just so nonsensical it, it's ridiculous i'm sorry I'm a Lodi All American National. North American National Republic. North American National. Okay. I've never heard of that country. It's North America. No, she is not Mark Worthy. Hell no. American National. Okay. Are you, do you consider yourself a sovereign citizen? I don't consider myself a sovereign citizen. All right. This video is already available on my channel and it will be linked in the description box below. But two months after that stop, Miss V. Angela Bay gets stopped again. How's it going? Hi. You have your license registration on you? What did I do? I'll let you know as soon as I get your license, all right? What did I do though? I'll let you know. Can I just see your license, please? I don't, I don't have my actual license. Okay, no problem. The reason we're stopping you is the tents on the car are dark. They're not, they're not too dark. Oh, I'm just letting you know why I stopped you. Is this your car? Yes. Is this your car? Your Vanessa? Yes. Yeah. Okay, do you have a license or like an ID or anything with your picture and your photo of it? Okay, that works. Did you get a bird? No, no, you got a picture. Okay. Okay. Is this your current address? That's your current address. Okay. Is your license valid? You just don't have it on you? I just got everything, all the court stuff resolved, going to court and everything down, the parents' letters. Okay. You're going to court because of your license? But they uh, suspended it? No, I didn't have a suspended license. I had a whole lot of from Colorado. I just got everything cleared up. Everything is good now. Okay. Uh, we're trying name? to go to the hospital right now. Right I got you. Your first name is Vanessa, right? All right, you might pop it out just so we can talk to you about your license. You got a valid license? All right, give me a second. Pop out first real quick. Thank you. Yes, it is, Jim. Isn't it easier to get a McDonald's job and pay for insurance and registration, Mark? Yes, it is. But for some reason, sovereign citizens think that laws do not apply to them, even though it's been proven time and time again that the laws do apply to them, no matter how much they may not like it. Oh. 
You just spin around, put your hands behind your back. Oh my gosh, is this? You got a possible warrant. I, I do, but you guys have already taken me in. They've already cleared me on this. Okay, okay. so it's going to verify real quick, and then if so, anything, you'll be on your way, okay? Just give us a few minutes to verify. Already, you guys just arrested me. Which was that? Um, on April 27th. We already called Colorado. Okay, give me a second, okay? I have a case here, but I'm not cutting up for it. Okay. I want to go was it in April when you guys um, stopped? I got, yeah, it was like April 28th or the 29th. Can you just, I don't want to get hit. And we already called Colorado. Colorado's okay. waiting until my case is clear here. Okay, just so you know. I'm going to start wearing my Jedi robes and tell the cops who stopped me that the Force is with me. And I'm one with the Force and I can't be arrested. I don't think that would work out for you, Gary. <laughs> They don't need jobs, Mark. They all have their billion trillion dollar super secret trusts at Fort Knox. True, Casey. <laughs> Which begs the question, if they really did have that money, why why not just hire someone to drive for them? You know, hire their own personal driver. Uh, gotta lo love how softsets think. Being straight up when you run the tag, the card's registered. I know, to you, so I know. They told me I might, I might right. end up having that problem again, but so just if they're not going to come and get you, because yeah. in our system it says that extraditable nationwide, yeah. that means anyone yeah, if you yeah, are, are in any state, they're going to supposedly come and get you. If they're right. not going to, then they're going to have to change it because every time you get stopped, they're going to go through this. Right. So this is just procedure. You got to be detained for now. We're going to do our due diligence. They're going to call Colorado. And if they ultimately come back and say, like you said, hey, we're not going to come and get her or enter that or whatever, then handcuffs come off, you'll be on your way. Okay, so you guys can verify you guys already did went through this process? So, no, but then it's typical for every warrant. They have to do their due diligence and call Colorado. That's it's just part of the procedure. Oh, no. Can you... Um... Can you, you guys can't see that you guys already we already went through this process. No, no because it might not. Because we're so, for Fort Lauderdale, so if it's anybody in the county, like we can't see what they're they not going to be able to say they're not going to come for me right now. Well, uh, because it doesn't don't they have to wait for the courts in the morning and no, all that? No. Can I tell Jerry to call my attorney real quick? Yeah, so, but look, just so he just, knows what's going on. Why don't we just wait? Because if they come back and they say, "Hey, we don't want her," then you'll be on your way, and you can call them whenever you want. I don't think they're going to do it that quick. A, they never do it that quick. Yeah. Because we have our people from Fort Lauderdale will call them. They're like our county, Broward County will call them and say, hey, we have Vanessa you know, detained and, and go from there. You know, a brilliant way to avoid this situation is stop breaking the law. Really, if you haven't broken the law, you wouldn't have to worry about this. And Please do yourself a favor and forget this sovereign citizen nonsense. It's just leading you down a, a awful bad path. Quit while you still can before it turns into more serious stuff. Do you know what city stopped you in April? Yeah, Margate. Okay. Yeah, so we, we're not able to see what Margate did or that you were detained. But I went to, to like Broward County. The courthouse. I went to Broward County, yeah, because I had a I had a warrant here too. Oh, okay. So that was your last arrest. Yeah. Okay. It was April 29th. I just got all this stuff taken care of. Okay, so the, the only the thing warrant, I mean the warrant. The date of the warrant that is I a good question, Gary. Second, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I mean, hell, I I can probably guarantee you it's probably not even their cars. It's probably barring it from either their friends or parents or something. Double check, but I think that's the date of the warrant. So if you got stopped on the 29th, then it, it should be. You know. um, Anastasia, I will put my email in the chat for you. Just give me one moment. I mean, like, then it might be true what you're saying. Like, they don't want to extradite. Wait, but the I, warrant was April 22nd of this year from Colorado? For burglary. Yeah, I, I know about that. I was actually the victim of that case, but I don't. I have a case here. I can't go back to fight it right now. What's your case here? Um, At the county? Yeah. Out of Margate? Um, out of Hollywood. 
Terry, can you open my phone? Hey, did he already check? Your, is he checking your license? Yes, sir. Uh, it's 0716 zero 02. Go into my message. And then it should be a 954 number. I was texting you. It was the last message. It said something about. Yeah. 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 It's a. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. She, did get a, she did get arrested in April by Morgan. Uh, what? Uh, it was a New York County. It was a PSO warrant. What? But then she's uh, uh, in the date of this warrant, April 22nd. When you ask me your phone, let me talk. But when you got it, it comes back. Right here. Actually, that's Veronica, Colorado. Yeah, that's Hey, Vicky. Hey, listen, I just got pulled over again, and they're saying the warrant from Colorado that's still existing. I just got arrested for this, and Colorado said they weren't going to come for me on the 29th of April. Am I going to have to go to jail again for this? You guys can't contact your courts to see that they are, or your, your guys' documents to see that they already refuse to pick me up? Like, if I get, if, if they arrest me and then I walk out and then I get, I can just keep getting arrested every day for going yeah, you're, you're going to have to contact Colorado because they're going to have to put it into the nationwide system. So if they don't want you and and they keep, every time you go to court, they keep dismissing it, then they need to, Colorado, the police department, whatever whatever case you have going on with that agency, they have to remove that. They have to remove that from the uh, from the database. Because every time you they run your driver's license number or ID number, up pop the warrant. So you're going to have to go through this until that's removed from the system. And that's not on our, that's whoever entered it. It's not on us, it's on Colorado. I see that on. Exactly, Luna. Stop breaking the law. Then, if you don't, if you don't want to continue being stopped, exactly. It's that simple. It's not that difficult to be a productive member of society, and you know, not break the law. I mean, it's very simple. It's very easy, you know, to follow the laws and not get yourself arrested. But some people. I'm convinced that some criminals they just like jail and then they want to they like crying and pretending that they're the victim even though they're not. Yeah, yeah, I am. She is her. Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm getting to it. Uh, I know, that's why we double triple check. They ask a bunch of questions. I'm trying to battle this. I changed. Archangel was a great friend, Anastasia, and we all miss him. But we'll always keep his memory alive. It's my name, but it's just a headache every time I change my name, and then they want to charge me for trying to say that I'm somebody else. Why are you changing your name? Um, I changed it because I denounced my nationality. And thank you, Anastasia, for the $20 Amazon gift card. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you in the chat for all your support since Archangel died. It means the world to me. And thank you, my friend, for, for your support. I appreciate it. Who is he? Family friend. Family friend. I'm just giving out license. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just because, like, if you do, we do have to take the car. You want to give him a car or what do you want? Yeah, he can take the car. Take the car for me. Yeah, 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 yeah
That seems like somebody lied to me on the court. They told me I had to wait 72 hours last time to get clearance from Colorado. So when you got when you got arrested last time, you had other charges. Yeah, I had one. Yeah. You had a county one. Yeah. Yeah, I had a. Now that would be an interesting combination, Jim. Her with the parrot guy? Holy crap. Like, that would be probably very entertaining and disastrous at the same oh, time. Yeah. Right, so they'll take you regardless, and then you probably sit at county while they try to contact Colorado. Right. But since that's that the, only thing, the only thing we have. They like, probably just didn't water. tell me if they weren't picking me up until. Yeah. <laughs> She probably get him out of the car because he's parked. He's gonna wait to. He, he only had learner's license, and uh, she has a she has no license. So, so she's got him with second subsequence. Family's gonna get her subsequence. So I can take it for that. Are you gonna come to the car? Yeah. Anthony, break now. Oh, yeah. Come on, bro. It's hot as shit. It kind of does look like that, Anastasia. Is she wearing a commencement robe? <laughs> I swear, some of the some of the stuff that these sovereign citizens wear is ridiculous. You know, from the fezes to to just some of the stuff they wear, just insane. I'm 
five got to have another college. Bill Ford is 445, you see? I just got on my lap. Come on, tell him, tell him I'm going to be all right. Yeah, I'm going to need you to flex. I know, I'm going to do that now. But I got to have my mechanic go pick it up for you. Because it's supposed to be getting... A new paint job, a new bumper, all that, and I and I don't I don't want it to be driven around all over the place. No, it doesn't happen too often around here, but we have had a few sovereign citizens occasionally. Like, if you remember, a couple of years ago, the Rise of the Moors incident, where they basically forced an entire highway to shut down for a while and they had to stand off with police. That basically happened, I want to say, probably about half an hour from where I live and that was crazy that at the time that was all over the news here but yeah it it does happen occasionally but not too often you can use my truck but not my car Oh, I know they're good. Are uh, you finished? Yeah. He's good. Mm -hmm. All right, Jerry. Um, what's the call? What's his name? Yeah. Damn. You don't even have his number. How'd you get his number? Hey, you ready to roll? Yeah. All right, we gotta go. All right, just call Mario and see if he has an emergency situation. And she wanted me to ask you if you could please go pick up her car and then give, it, give him the address to pick it up wherever Jerry's at when, when Jerry can get the car situated where he can get it to I'm going to do too well. I got to be in front of that. I'll take it to you yeah, as soon as I get that. Thanks, sir, Lisa. I think the rest of this is just the right to view. them and say, hey, it's not fair to me. I keep getting arrested for it. Do you guys want me or do you not want me? Because at the end of the day, we're, we're stuck when once they confirm the warrant, you have to come with us. So if the warrant's not confirmed, then you would have gone back in the car and been on your way. But once the warrant's confirmed, there's nothing we can do. Well, I knew that they had a warrant, but they're just choosing to not come extradite. Okay. Is the situation. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's just weird that, you know, they keep doing this and it's not, like I said, it's not fair to you. So you need to call them and be like, hey, what's going on with this? Because otherwise it's going to keep happening. Like, it's definitely not fair to you. So. So let's see. It says Vanessa Angela Bay accepted a global plea deal to resolve all of these traffic stops, which resulted in fines. Her Colorado Colorado warrant for burglary still remains active. But they do all the paperwork and make that process a little quicker. She has had no more encounters with law enforcement. But man, it's just ridiculous. Like, you know, freaking... I feel like in a way she was scammed into believing in the sausage stuff, but at the same time, if you're gullible and dumb enough to believe in it, I really don't feel that bad for you. All right, so this next video I have lined up here.
Let's see. Marathon, Florida. This is called Toothless Lady Causes Complete Chaos at Marriott Hotel. At the local Marriott Hotel, a man who was on a business trip met up with a female friend for a vacation in the Florida Keys. However, things went horribly wrong when the female friend went bat crazy after consuming alcohol. Naturally, law enforcement was called to take care of the man's problem. Sheriff's deputies have responded to the hotel and first attempt to encourage the female to leave on her own. But anyway, so he kicked her out of the room, wants her out of the room, so I brought her downstairs. Now she wants a ride home. And I was like, well, where's home? She said Zephyr Hills. I said, well, you know, Zephyr Hills is six and a half hours away from here. She goes, I don't care. I want to ride home. So I'm like, well, I can't get your ride home to Zephyr Hills unless you have a credit card and put you in a new one. She goes, I'm not paying for it. He's paying for it. So I went back up to his room. He's like, I gave her 500 bucks. Like, that's enough to get her out of here. And I said, all right. So then I called you guys. I don't know what to do. I don't know who want to just take her up to Fairfield and Hampton, get her a room for the night. She's got enough cash to do that. You want to trespass on the property? I, I mean, I don't want to be a douche, but I, I, she can't come back here. So yeah, how okay. to do? Right. You know? yeah. I don't want to, you know, but I got to get her out of here. So mm-hmm. she's right over here. Her name is Amanda. Okay. Okay. Right down on chairs. Hi, Amanda. I'm not Amanda. No? No. Okay, what's your name? Okay. I'm going to tell you my name. I'm not a problem. What are you? 3351. Well, the business has requested that we remove you from the property. So, yeah, you are a problem. You are. And so at this point, you're required to give me identification. So, yes. it's either no, you. I don't know what your problem is. Ma'am, there's no reason to come off like that, all right? You're being trespassed from the property. I'm not trespassing. I'm staying in the room. You're not. You've been kicked out of the room. Awesome. Okay. So, you know this is all recorded. Yep, we're audio visually recording constantly. No, I don't think so, Jesse. Not my type. <laughs> Good. Okay. The property. The property. Once you trespass, okay, they want. I'm you. not trespassing. I'm allowed to stay if here. If you would let me talk, okay. Don't talk to me like that. You have been kicked out of the what room. What is your name and your badge number? And what is your name? Your badge number Deputy also. Pope, Sierra zero. Oh boy, here we go. She's demanding names and badge numbers. This is going to end well, isn't it? 616. Awesome. There you go. Thank you. Why am I getting kicked off of doing nothing wrong? Like, really, don't even tell me she's about to go full soft set. (laughs) Because the property wants you off of their. Who is the property? The property. Where is the property? He was already trying to talk to you. Who is he in the property? So listen, ma'am, this is what's going to happen. Call the sheriff Let right now in your Let bo- me speak. No, 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 So this no. is going to happen. Yep, she really is going soft, sit. Call the sheriff. Like, really, what do you what do you think the sheriff's going to do? And, and by the way, you know, you collect those names and badge numbers like baseball trading cards or Pokemon cards. Like, what do you guys, what do you soft sits do with all those names and badge numbers? you collect do you like post them do you have like have a special wall in your house where you collect all the names and badge numbers of cops like seriously it's like a a wall of fame or something oh man the delusion I'm going to either remove Listen, you man, from the property or you're going you're to You're going to remove yes, me ma'am. and you're going to assault because right now, no, right. no, she does not consent. Now this you're is... violating 4-6 statute. You I am not to doing anything property. wrong. All right, listen to me. I'm going to make this very clear, all right? I'm going to make it very clear. Call people who are your authority and I have no problem doing that. I am a woman. I'm a national and I don't have time for your I am doing I, I, I am a woman okay, as well. Okay, then what is your name and your badge number? Because it's all recorded too, honey. Deputy Foster, 0756. Awesome. What is your problem? Why are you here? I've explained to you that. They do no, you haven't. I- all right, I'll explain this to you, lady. Because it's actually very simple to understand. Yes, you may have purchased a room at that hotel. However... You apparently have been allegedly causing a disturbance, and now the hotel staff wants you out, which they have the right to do. If you're disturbing the employees or other guests, they have the right to have you removed from the property, which is exactly what is happening here. You are no longer a guest at the hotel. They want you out. Simple as that.
I don't understand what the fuck your problem is. I don't have a problem. Then why are you here? Because the problem this is recorded. No, honey, no. Why are you here? Because that goddamn property recorded your bullshit. Thank you. Are you going to live on Nash? No, I will totally cooperate. Let's do this. The property manager wants to offer the property. Okay. Hey, Nightwolf, great to see you, my friend. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> oh, jeez, Mark is using logic now. Yeah, sometimes I do. <laughs> uh, it's very basic logic, actually. Okay, I don't have a problem with that. Where's the property manager? Who are you and you? You're a little too much to drink tonight, you think? I don't need anything okay, to drink we're, and I we're, am we're not putting drunk. it in plain English. And very black and white for you. Okay. If you do not leave, you will be subject to arrest. You will go to jail. Why? You're going to go to jail. What crime am I committing? Trespassing. You are trespassing and you're not leaving. I am quest. in a room that I'm allowed to be no, here that not. somebody no, paid for. Oh. Not anymore, you're not. They kicked you out. Very simple. Oh, so that guy said he didn't pay for a room, which is all recorded. I'm sure there's a room paid for, but you are not allowed to be here anymore. I don't mind if you not be here. I don't want to be here. Okay, then let's get then off the property leave. before you go to jail. I know you don't want that I'm not going to go to jail. I didn't I'm do anything telling you wrong. you're going to go to jail if you don't leave. Why would I go to jail? Because, because you are not leaving the property upon request. Oh, you. What is your name and bed? I just gave it to you. You're too intoxicated to no, remember. No, I'm not intoxicated. Honey, this is all recorded. What is your name and your badge no. number right now? Call your sheriff and your boss. I want to speak to your boss. You what the hell do you think the sheriff or his boss is going to tell you? They're going to tell you the same exact thing. Get the hell off the property. You just admitted yourself. You don't want to be there. So put one foot in front of the other and get off the property. It's that simple. It's not that complicated. This would be over by now if you just got off the freaking property. But of course, you're so drunk and belligerent, you would rather sit there and argue with the cops and win yourself a pair of silver bracelets and a free trip to jail. Understand that you're not reporting anything. Do you you're understand that, that I'm not to... playing your fucking game? Okay. Call your fucking right now. <laughs> You're gonna go to jail. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. If I do, you're gonna pay me. I will lovely, gladly do it. Go ahead. Let's go. This email is What is your name and your badge number? I've given it to you now. Oh, you're not gonna give me your name and your badge number. Zero six one six. You can't remember though because you're too heavily in. I don't need to fucking remember. It's all recorded. Hey. Uh uh. What? There is no need for that. Disorderly intoxication and refusal. I am to leave not being drunk or. Please, please just. Oh my god. Is that what we're going to do today? Hey. Pills? She was with me. Okay. I wanted her out of my room. Correct. Yep, she's being trespassed from the property. She's I'm not trespassing. And I'm recording. Her mom's threatening what the fuck you're doing? And this is like an Abby in Costello bet. But they just need to arrest her. I agree, Casey. Although, I guarantee you, they're trying not to arrest her because they probably don't want to deal with a drunk like this. And honestly, I wouldn't either. If you can't handle your alcohol and you get this obliterated to the point where someone has to babysit you, basically, then you really shouldn't be drinking. Just my opinion. You two, and you're being a civil a woman. I'm know. sorry, but you're no, being decent. No, this no, motherfucker no. over here, with his. <laughs> no, I've already got you recorded too, honey. No. Did you take a fucking oath? No. Uh, you. Did you take an oath? What is your name, hey, mister? You're going to go to jail in a minute. What's your name? If you step around, sit no. down. No. I don't need to step around. I didn't do nothing. Oh, okay. You're Stand up. What did I do? I asked your name. Stand up. I asked your name and your badge yep. number. Oh. Hey, Yet Yetzia Ramirez. Uh, probably I'm butchering that name, but welcome. 
Hi from Puerto Rico. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Okay. You're in a room. Right, let's go. Off the property. Off the property. Yes, and now you're going to jail. I didn't we'll do back. anything. Yeah, we'll go I didn't walk. commit a crime. Yeah, you're committing a crime right now as we speak. What am I committing a crime for? No, I'm not. Oh, thank God I'm recording your s***. Yep, we have body cameras and in-car cameras Good, well. I'm glad you do, because you are going to be without a job tomorrow. That's funny. Right. I cannot wait. Carl is right, from right, Virginia. Right. Yep. What crime did I commit? Right now, right now you're committing disorderly intoxication and not... No, I don't think so, Drew. Thank you for recording what you're doing. You're very welcome. I cannot wait to take your s***. Your s***. Thank you. Stop moving. Stop moving. You no, don't talk to me. You are going to not gonna have calm a job. Down? Oh, yeah, I'm calm. I didn't do anything, and my daughter recorded everything from Michigan on what you're doing right That's now. That's fine. It's all audio and visually recorded as well. Good. I hope it is. Because Carl Lentz and Dan Toby, yep, let's go to court. Let's go to jail. Stick your finger on my ass one time. I wish you would. I really don't want to do that. I'm not you going. What the f you got to do? What's your name and your badge number? She's given it to you now multiple times. I you can't remember you because you're What is your name and badge number? Because you ain't going to have a f***ing job. You ain't yelling at me. I'm common law national. That's fine. You had no f***ing jurisdiction over me, All right, that's Well, you can say that all you want, but right now, in case you didn't realize, reality is kicking in. And the cops, as you run your mouth, are proven jurisdiction to you. <sighs> Gotta love it. I love whenever they say, cops, you have no jurisdiction. And the cops go ahead and prove jurisdiction. Funny how that works. Cool. Open your hand. No, you're no. going to jail, so. Take my, I don't give a f I'm going to owe you, and I'm going to have a lot of money. Let's do this. Sounds good. I cannot wait. Let's go to jail. All right, good. Let's go to jail, <laughs> I cannot wait to owe you, bitch. Y'all motherfuckers gonna owe me money, motherfucker. You better call your boss, bitch. Call your fucking boss. No. Yeah, this is disorderly intox and refusing yeah. to leave all day. Yeah. All day. Yes. I cannot wait to call your boss. Yeah, that sounds good. Call Sheriff Rick Ramsey, Menor County Sheriff's Office. Call him now. I'm gonna have to. She's just freaking. She's just freaking out like this, so I'm gonna have to put her in a seatbelt and then. She might, she's probably gonna spit or something. So, this is what's gonna happen. I can either come here and I can do a chin tuck and tuck her face in because she's either gonna headbutt or she's gonna spit. She don't bite. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, she can't. She can't. Uh. All right, you ready? Yeah. Hello. Are you gonna start behaving? I did misbehave. Uh uh. Stay in the, Back car. In the car. Don't talk to me like right. that. Wait, what side? Right what do you want to do? Your ass is All right. Fine. All right. Oh, it is going to be All fine. Good. Is it locked? Yeah. yeah. Right, Why am I arrested or detained Right now you're for? being arrested for disorderly conduct. I didn't do nothing. The business after trespassing. I am so glad this is recording, you dumb piece of shit. I can't hear from the side. Let's go! What's your name and badge number? You took an oath of office? I'm Sergeant Hill. Oh, yeah. This is my oh, boss. Oh, I'm a national Let's go to jail, mother So And these are the types of situations, in my opinion, where the cops should be allowed to use duct tape. Like, seriously, why should they be subjected to her verbal abuse? And she's just going to keep repeating the same crap over and over again. Her teeth are in that glove. You don't want them? So she wasn't trespassing. She was with me. Okay, well, out. I know, I know. But you we, removed her from the room. Yeah, we invited her. Business sure requested her to room. leave. I, I asked her to leave the room. I had security come get her. I gave her money to get a hotel and a bed right back. She's overly drunk. No, she, but she wasn't. She's going to jail for trespassing. Going to jail. As well. We advised so her that thing. she had to leave. The hotel yeah. called her, called us, and told us they wanted her off property. Okay. He told her to leave. She didn't leave. She goes to jail. Okay. She goes to jail. Okay. What is she? What do, is there anything I need to do to bail her out for to get her back to her aunt's house? I'm going back to my tomorrow. Aunt. You can call the jail after 9 a.m., probably around 10 a.m., and they should have a bond for you. 
Okay. okay. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. I mean, I'm sorry I had to go through this. No, nope. it, it, it is what it is. Does, it's our job, man. That's our job. What up? What up? Come on, nigga. Let's go to jail. Let's go to jail. He called front desk, asked that number should one of be removed from the room. I went up there and escorted her out with no incident at all. We got down to the courtyard. She wanted to ride home to Zephyr Hills. I told her that was we would need a credit card so I could call. She didn't have one. So yeah, wait until she sobers up. She is going to have one hell of a hangover, for sure. He was moving forward at that point. He started to get riled up, and I called you. Oh, you want to raise your right hand? You swear and affirm everything you wrote in here is the truth and nothing but the truth? It is. Cool. Hey, Pope. Yep. Ask her very nicely to give you her name and date of birth. <laughs> I understand. Hey, Ziggy for the facts. Great to see you. Good morning, my friend. Dan? <laughs> I know what I'm asking for. All right, right, right. Watch. Let's yep. go. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me, ma'am. What's your first and last name and your date of birth? Why do you need to know? Because you're going to jail. So no, I need to I'm know not. Your... Why am I going to jail? All right. Hi, ma'am. I'm Sergeant Hill with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office. I'm the supervisor. Why am I honest. going to jail? Because you are disorderly conduct. No, I'm the business not. Asked and you this to leave. is all recorded. Okay. And I am a sovereign all right. national citizen. All right. I have a right to be here. And, and that's, that's awesome. Why the or just take that's, for me to say, no. that's awesome. Now I want you to listen to what I have to say. I'm gonna take your. I job. want you to listen to what I say. That's fine. You can try. Okay. I will. Listen. Here's what I'm gonna Call ask you. With. You are lawfully under arrest at this no, time. No, not what law? At you this have time. Right to, at no. this time. At I this am time, a woman. I am woman. Time, Angela, do not. You don't Angela, what dress is your up first like name, an, last name, and last date of birth? I don't have to answer your question. Okay. So what you're saying at this time is you're refusing to identify what is yourself your to law enforcement officer. What's your name and your badge number, mother? So what you're saying is you're refusing what to identify. What is your name and My your name is Sergeant Hill with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office. My badge oh. number is S nine one zero six. You have to detain May me. I please have your name and date of birth. No, you cannot. Okay. All right. You are now arrested for obstruction God, of justice. I'm glad false it's identification. All right. All right. I've never put myself in this situation again before. Nope. Never. And we're just friends. She lived where I lived, and I, I knew she was down here. Got a hold of me. I called her back. Said, "Yeah, come on down. Do you want to go hang out for a week? Make vacation out of it? So whatever." Did you go to the bathroom on yourself? I did not. Not at all. Are you sure? I am f***ing positive. Would you like to f***ing check? Hey, um, this is stinks in here. Did she just go back? I don't know. <laughs> Um, Let's go to jail, honey. Let's go to jail. We're going to go to the hospital first, okay? Oh, I'm not going to no hospital. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not. You have to. No, I don't. Yep. No, I don't, dumb. Yes, you do. You are right now lawfully in custody. I'm a fucking national. I'm a fucking woman. I, woman, do not have to do a fucking thing that you You're goddamn wrong. say. You're wrong. You might want to goddamn check yourself. With the f***ing judge up north who said, you have no authority over me, you acting mother f***ing. You are currently in custody, so you have I'm not going nowhere. I'm not doing f***ing. I don't give a what you say. Right back there. your badge number. I got the door. Good. All right. And I want to know where your boss is. Why won't you call your boss? No, no, I'll lower it and take it. Why won't you call your boss? Because I'm the command officer for the night. No, you're not. Yes, you're I am. Okay. No, where's your boss? Okay, that's all we do. Yep, we gotta do this because I'm 90 pounds. I had to pee in the car. It's all recorded through my bra. Oh yeah, I peed on myself. Thank you. Okay. What's your name, Doctor Dre? You can, you can set that up. Uh, can I? What's your name and badge number? Why won't you tell me? Boy, that was a crazy video, man. Gotta love it when these idiots think that laws don't apply to them and that they can just do whatever the hell they want. But then reality kicks in. I mean, you're you're in custody. Pretty sure they have authority over you. Exactly, Luna. Boy. All right, so let's see. What else do we got here for videos? 
on. So this one is called Drunk Driver Runs Red Light and Hits Curb Right in Front of Police. January 21st, 2024. A deputy from the Brown County Sheriff's Office was on patrol when he noticed a vehicle run a red light and then hit a curb. Webster and Woodview. I'll take a second right away. This should a curb. Hello. Hello. Tip yards to the Sheriff's Office. Hey, Dave Malik. Great to see you, my friend. Hope you're doing well. A couple of reasons why I stopped you. Huh? You hit a curb and you went through a red light. Red light? Yeah. No. Yeah, you went through a red light back there. No. No? You're saying I... you didn't? No red light. Okay. I'm, I'm... Where are you coming so, from? No, sweet, eh? I hope no red light. You didn't go through a red light? No, I hope so. It was. Okay. What do I want? So right off the bat, you can just tell by the way he's slurring his speech. He is wasted. Thank you, Casey, for the 10 gifted memberships. Thank you, as always, for your generosity and support, and welcome to all the new members. Welcome, Luna Knights, Patrick Gallagher, Brian, PJC, Fearful, Fearfully Confident, Donna, Holly, Bob, Green Lord. Welcome to everyone. And... Thank you to Dave Malik for being a member now for six months. <laughs> Love your channel, Mark. Thank you, my friend, and thank you for your support. Now, speaking of PJC, has anyone seen him around lately? It feels like it's been a while since I've seen or heard from him. What were you up to? Hopefully, he's doing all right tonight. Uh, my friends has been in. Uh, we have been to see the game. Okay. Yep. So you're watching the game. Yeah. All right. Is this your vehicle, or do you rent this vehicle? Rent them. Rented. Yep. Okay. All right. Where were you? Were you at a friend's house, or were you at a bar, or no friend's house? Friend's house. Yeah. Okay. Where are you trying to get to tonight? Home. Home. Where's home? Yeah. Uh, hotel in uh, Resident Inn. Resident Inn? Yep. In, is that where? That is strange. I mean, he's usually active on the server, but I just, I haven't seen him around lately. Hopefully he's all right. Where is it at? Do you remember what road it's on? Resident Inn. That's, that's the, yeah, honey, fine. Because it's in not in the downtown, but its name is Resident in in downtown. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you just visiting, or are you? Uh, I'm going to be here for a couple of months. Couple of months. Yeah. What's your first name? Andreas. Andreas. Yeah. What's a good phone number to reach you at. Uh, that, that's the worst because I don't know it. You don't know your phone number? Yes, I have. I have. Wait, I tell you. Uh, I tell you everything. Okay. If you stop me and you think I'm, yeah. Uh, my phone number is. Did you have yeah. anything? I mean, it's like I said, you can tell this dude is just wasted. And like, how did it take you that long to 
figure out what your phone number is. Like, seriously, I have my phone number memorized at the top of my head, and I have a few family members' phone numbers also memorized. Just saying, like, it's amazing to me how people can't even be bothered these days to know what their own phone number is. You need a drink tonight, Andreas? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I'm drinking beer. Yeah. Okay, how many beers did you have? Two. Two. Always two beers. And yes, we do have that Sidewalk Olympics theme queued up. Always two beers. Yeah, okay. And that was at your friend's house? Yep. About how long ago was that? It was when we was seeing the football. Oh, you were watching football? Yes. Okay. Of course. We sure. Are Packers fans. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, All right. Yeah. Well, just sit tight for me for a little bit in the vehicle yeah. and stay warm. Okay. Do Absolutely. not go anywhere. Remain right no. here. Okay. Thank you. I do. Thank you. Um, yeah, he's from Sweden. Oh, wow. He's got this rented vehicle. He was watching Packer game. He said he had two beers. Right. He was swerving all over the road. Went through the red light at uh, the, the top of the highway right there. Okay. Hit the curb. So, we um, going out home. Home. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll try to get some sort of ID or some sort of information on him. But I'm, I'm, okay. I'll, uh, we're going to do, obviously, I'm going to try to do fields. But, yeah. Not sure if I want to do them right here. We might go. Yeah, just as long as we're off the road. Just because we're in the middle of Webster. So my thought is, we'll get him off the road. That's good if it's true. They're keeping him in jail. That is awesome. Because how cold it is and everything. And I'll get him over to you. We can do, we'll do the same use up here. Okay. Because it's the closest hospital. And we'll do the, the SFSTs in the garage. Okay. Um, I'll, we're going to get him out of the car, but obviously it's right in the middle of traffic. Yeah, so uh, yeah, another car we can tow or move it for us. I'll see if obviously we'll go by how cooperation on any window. Yeah, he could park in here to chill for him. And I just saw that our Nevada judges has the video posted. So when we're done with this video, we'll take a look at that video. Let me see if we can do that. But I. uh don't know how I'm gonna actually ID him unless I can get the full information. No. Yeah. yeah. All right, Andres. Yes. So the situation is, I'd like to put you through some tests to yep. make sure you're okay to drive. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. So with your vehicle where it is, we're gonna ask um, one of my partners. Do you give them permission to move your vehicle out of the roadway? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Because because what we're going to do is we're going to take you over to a to an area that we have a garage so we're not so cold standing outside. Okay. okay? And then we're going to complete those tests yep. and then we'll go from there. Does that sound good? Yep. Okay. You can leave everything in the car. You got your seatbelt off. Do you mind stepping out of the car and stepping back to me? We'll just step back here, okay? Yep. You said you're at a friend's house? Yes. So I'm just going to make but sure you don't have, have anything a, in your pockets, no, okay? I have mine. Well, at least he's cooperating for now, but as we've seen many times here on the channel, attitudes can quickly change when the handcuffs come out. No, nope, that's okay. Don't take anything out. I'm just going to pat you down, okay? Yep. Face your car. Go ahead, face your car. I'm just going to hold your hands behind your... You're good. You can put your hands behind your back. Bring, bring your hands back here, Andres. Yeah. Bring your hands back behind yeah. your back. Perfect. Okay. I'm just going to pat you down to make sure you don't have any weapons on you. Okay. You don't have any weapons? Nothing? No, nothing? I poke no, me, stick me? I'm in full speed and I don't have okay. any back. Okay. Yeah. No knives? Nothing? No. Okay. Nothing. 
Okay. Move your feet apart a little bit for me. Thank you. So that's, you don't have, this is your only ID, you don't have any other ID with no, you? No, I don't. You don't? Okay. No. How long have you been in the States? Uh, three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah. Not a long time. What is this right here in your, what are you doing? Uh, I'm, 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 don't, yeah, don't, I'm sorry. What are you doing? Uh, water. Uh, a open. water bottle? Yeah. No, open. Open my foot. Open up your pocket? Yeah. I yeah. can't open it. Is no, it on the inside? Yeah. Okay. What is it? The motor. I will. Well, here's what we're going to do. We'll have you walk back to my car. And just because we're transporting you, we're going to have to put you in handcuffs. Do you give this deputy permission to move your car off the road for us? Uh, I'm so sorry. I don't know the rules in USA. Okay. I'm from Sweden. Yeah. Uh, Swedish person. Okay. Do you, Andres? Is, is this okay? Can I move your car to this road so it's not in traffic? We're going to put it at Heritage Hill so no, it's not on the road. But, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Guys. Yep. Let's walk. Do you give. Can I move your car? Uh, off the road away to this parking lot. Should I say no? Well, then we have to tow it. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. No, no. So I just move it? Yeah. Move okay. It. okay, let's come back yeah. here. Yeah. 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 So I'm just going to place you in handcuffs for the transport, okay? Yeah. You're not under arrest. You're just you're being detained. But you're doing something for me. And you're moving my car. Yep. That's not good for me, I think. Yeah, we, yeah, we can grab it in a second. So it's either that or it gets towed right now, just because oh. it's in traffic. So you want to tell us, No, Susie. Yep, we'll grab it for him. Okay. I have done something Yeah, we're gonna. Okay, I'll explain everything that we can. Okay. Obviously, I want to make sure that you're okay to drive. This is just safety yeah. for us. Okay. Yeah. I'm transporting you off the busy road. Yep, safety for you too. Which key or uh, which pocket? Which pocket? Where? Yeah. This one over here? Oh, yeah. This little fucking jacket. Down here? Yeah. Let's feel your phone. No, I should have a key in my. What? Why didn't you put the. What's that? He's going to move that off. I'm from Sweden. We understand. Yeah. So I'll try to explain everything as best I can to you. Yeah. Okay. Can I call my company? Go ahead and have a seat. Watch your head. But can I call my company? Not now? right now. Not right now. Okay. Not right now. Okay. Why? Okay. Swing your feet in, please. Yep. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Okay. Then we're going to buckle you in, all right? Yeah, but why can I not call my company? Because we don't allow anybody that we have detained to call anybody okay. okay that's just part of our process all right okay what is very buckle in yen yeah i don't get my feet here yeah it's not very comfortable no. sorry all right we'll get you we're gonna get you up to that yeah. the warmer garage okay yeah. do you did I drop this ID? I thought you put it in your pocket. Did I? From what I'm here, and it sounds like they're not going to give them bail. And we'll take a look at that video after this one. I know you put it up there and then it's all in I'll try to look for it here. So, what I'm going to do yes. is I'm going to have sure. you stand up, I'm going to take the handcuffs off, and then we're going to go through those tests, okay? Yeah. To make sure that you're okay to drive, all right? And you, have you ever been arrested for no. for nothing? Uh, okay. Here, we'll go right, we'll go right for the squad car. Started. Okay, we're going to go right for the squad car. Yeah. Um, so yeah. 
Yeah, quit right here, okay? Wait. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. You, you don't need to apologize to me right now, okay? So you said you had two beers for the Packer game, right? What were you doing after the Packer game? Because it is 3.30 in the morning. Uh, off the Packer game? Yeah. Be, I'm driving home. This way right there. You were driving home? Yes. So the Packer game ended at about 10 o'clock. Yes, of course. It's 3.30 in the morning. He was playing Packer so, yeah. Okay, you're playing different games? Yeah. Okay. All right, Andres. If you don't mind, yes. I know I patted you down, but can you keep your hands out of your pockets for me? Absolutely. Okay. What do you want me to do? I'll explain in a second here. So we're going to put you through some tests to make sure I'm, that... I'm from Sweden. Yeah. So have faith. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try to talk as clearly yeah. as possible. If you have any questions, just ask, okay? Thank just you. keep your hands out of your pockets for me, then. All right, so do you have any troubles, any disabilities with balance, any walking yeah. issues? You don't have the same disability like you know. Sure. But okay, so how look many? Right, they look. That's okay. I'll, I'll hold on to your phone. So, oh, but we look this are you, are you, what? Three hours ago. Three hours ago? Yeah. Do you? Okay. No. Okay. We're gonna do the first test, and then we're gonna make a try to make a determination on what you're doing. Do you okay. And it's time for another edition of the Sidewalk Olympics. Absolutely. All right. So for this first test, I want you to do is put your feet together, arms yep. down at your sides. Arms down at your sides. Okay, remain in this position, okay? Yep. So what you're going to do is you're going to follow the tip of my left finger with your eyes and your eyes only. Do you understand? Eyes only? Yep. Yes. Can you tilt your chin down just a little bit for me? And look at... True, Gary. Sally Port Olympics in this case. The tip of my finger with your yep. eyes and your eyes only, okay? Yep. My finger is going to move. Do not move your head. Okay. Can you look at the tip of my finger with your yeah. eyes? Do you see my finger? Yes. Can you look for my finger, Andres? Yes. Do you see my finger? I see your finger. Look yes. with your eyes, please. Yes, on the eyes. I see your finger. Try to look with your eyes, like turn your eyeballs. I don't need it. I see it. I see your finger. I, I see your fucking finger. How many fingers am I holding up? Two. How many fingers am I holding up? Now you think three. No, I have holding up four fingers. I need you to look for my finger on this. And right off the bat, right out of the gate, he completely fails. Like, seriously, if you can't even tell how many fingers the cop is holding up, you have no business being on the road striving. I look at your finger. That's not how you look at my finger. Andres, no. this can go two ways, okay? No. You need to listen to me and yes. follow the instructions, otherwise Absolutely. I really have no other choice no, I'm, except for to I'm arrest sorry. you. No. Okay? You're, so you're knock it off. Me. No. You hear yeah. me? I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. Look at the tip of my finger yes. and follow with your eyes. Yeah. Yep. Keep your chin straight forward. Chin straight forward. Yeah. And follow with your eyes. Look for my finger. Only eyes. Yep. Look for my finger, Andres. Yep. Andres. Yes. Look at my finger. I look at the finger. So, yeah. Can I go to the restroom? No, no. I look at the finger. Okay, arms down at your side. At your side. Just that is a good point, Casey. But the real question is, do they even have a Swedish officer that would be able to translate? 
Just like I showed you. Yep. Okay. Andreas, you're not listening to my instructions. I need you to keep your chin still. You okay. follow your eyes and your eyes all the way Okay. Sorry. Yep. I, I, I'm not wrong, but I'm not wrong. I'm, yeah. Are you so, having, do you feel? I, no, I don't feel that because it should ring my phone. We're going to try this test yes. one more time. Yes. And then we're going to go from there, okay? Yeah. You need to listen to the instructions that I'm giving you. I listen to you, sir. Listen to me, please. I'm, okay. Yeah, absolutely. You're going to stand with your arms down on your side and your feet together. You're going to follow the tip of my yeah. left index finger with your eyes and your eyes only. Do you yeah. understand? Yes, sir. Eyes only. Okay, last test is going to go up and down, okay? Same thing. Follow it with your eyes and your eyes only. So the next test that I need you to do, we'll step over here right in the middle, okay? So what I need you to do is imagine a straight line from your feet all the way to that door down at the end, okay? Okay, straight line on the ground. Wait, wait. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna explain this test to you, and then I'm gonna let you do it, okay? So what I need you to do before you do this test is I need you to get in the starting position, all right? So I need you to put your left foot on the line. Left foot on the line. Okay. And take your right foot and put. This should be interesting. The walk and turn test. I mean, the dude couldn't even follow the cop's finger and didn't know how many fingers the cop was holding up. So this should go over well. Put it in front of your left foot, heel to toe, just like this. Yeah. Like I'm standing with your arms down to your side. All right. So take your right foot. Place your left foot in front of your right foot, heel to toe. Remain in this position until I'm done giving you the instructions, okay? Yeah. So what you're going to do for this test is you're going to take nine heel to toe steps out. Nine? Take, yes. Take a series of, of steps around your lead foot and take nine heel to toe steps back, okay? It's going to look like this. One, two, three. I did three for demonstration purposes. You're going to do nine. Take a series of steps around your lead foot. Take care, Ziggy. Have a great day, my friend. I turn around. One, two, three. Okay. So what you do for this test, you keep your arms on your side. I think I understand, but I, I need to get nine foots right. Yep. So what yeah. you're doing for this test... Like I demonstrated, nine heel to toe steps out. Nine that would be hilarious, Gary. Uh, that would be great. Andre, spit that out, and then I will give you. I'm. Here's what we're gonna do, okay? I think you're drunk. No. Yes. Okay. I do. Yeah. Okay. And I think you're not listening to me, and it's really starting to piss me off. Okay. Sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't want to hit you up at the world. Okay. I love your police. I love the police. Okay. So, no well, please. Your story isn't adding up. The information that you're telling me is not adding up. You're not listening to my instructions. Yes. I did everything you asked me about. I'm sorry, okay. sir. Are you willing to submit to a breath yes. test? Yes, Are you willing to submit to a breath test? I work now already. I, 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 Andres, are you no. willing to submit to a breath test? No, I, I work. You're going okay. now. Yes. This is much more difficult than it needs to be, okay? So yeah. what we're going to do is you're going to complete the test, right? Do you have any questions about the test? No, I... 
Do you have any questions about the test? No. So what I need to do during the test is look down to your feet. Keep your arms down to your side. Nine heel to toe steps out, nine heel to toe steps back. Count out loud for each step. Three step. Andres. Yes. I don't think you're listening to me. Okay. I either think that you're you're having a medical emergency. At this point, the cop should just arrest him. I mean, the cop has plenty of evidence that the dude couldn't properly complete the tests. At this point, there's just wasting time and resources. Take him to the drunk tank already. Probably, I don't understand you. That's, okay. that's the world. I feel like you understand me. Okay. I, I don't think that there's been any di discrepancy no, in what you're talking to me and listening to me. Now we all. Whatever you want me to do, I won't. I don't want. I don't want everything you want. So Are you going me. to complete the test? Absolutely. I'm going to try to complete the test. Okay. Yes. What is your question about the test? Uh, okay. So well, the test is nothing. So tell okay. Me Go ahead and begin. Yeah. Go ahead and begin the test if you don't have any questions. What should I do? Literally everything I just. Oh man. Do you have any questions about the test? Nope. All right, then you can start the test. And this guy, what do I do? You really can't make this stuff up. And if I was this cop, I'd be like, we're done. You're going to jail. DUI, we're done. Let's explain to you, Andres. And he just completely failed the test because he doesn't know what he's doing. You know what? That requires a laugh track, in my opinion. All right, come back here. Did you not listen to anything I explained to you? Yes. The nine heel to toe steps out. Toes, toe. Uh, popcorn chicken. That sounds good. It's been a while since I've had popcorn chicken. Where's your heel on your body? Yeah. All right. Andres, come back here. One last test for you to attempt. Stand back up in front of my yeah. car. Feet together, arms down on your side. Come over here. Stand right here. Face that way. Feet together, arm down on your side. Remain in this position while I'm giving you the instructions for this yes. test. So, What you're going to do for this test is you're going to lift one foot approximately six inches from the ground. Keep that other leg straight. You're going to look down at your foot. You're going to keep your arms on your side. You're going to count out loud in a manner such as 1,001, 1,002, and so on and so forth until I tell you to stop. Okay? 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. It's going to look like this. Yep, I noticed that, Anastasia. <laughs> 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, and so on and so forth until I tell you to stop. Okay. Do you understand? I think I understand. Yes. What foot do you plan on raising? I don't know. Whatever. It is up to no, you. No, but you have my driving license. So. Arms one down thousand, at your side. One thousand one, one. Arms down at your side. Yeah. One Look thousand. down at your foot and count out loud. What? How? How? All right, Andres. Do you plan? Do you wish to give us a breath sample? I wonder how. How do you think? Yes. Or we don't have the uh, arms or nothing. Do you wish to give us a breath sample tonight? One thousand one. Andres, do you wish to give us a breath sample tonight? No. No, you don't? Oh. Okay. You're under arrest for OWI. Andres, don't fight. You are under arrest. You are under arrest for operating while impaired.
Not right now. After everything's done, we'll give you a phone okay? Alright, you're gonna have a seat in the back of the car again. Right back here. I need my weapon. You don't like me. Sit down, please. Watch your head. Yeah, absolutely. I will say this cop was very, very patient. With them. Thank you. Stifering dispatch mail 1085. All right, so I got some paperwork. Can you swing your feet in? Absolutely. Well, this will be fun. Yep. The driver was arrested and charged with operating while impaired, running a red light, and unsafe lane deviation. These charges were eventually dismissed in court. I'll never understand it. They they always dismiss these charges. It seems like every single time. It's like, what's the point then of the cops even bothering to arrest them if the prosecutor's just going to dismiss the freaking charges? It's just encouraging this behavior. Uh, ridiculous. But now, it's time. The State of Nevada versus Jose Chile de Castro, April 1st, 2024. And no, this isn't an April Fool's joke. And the Honorable Judge Zimmerman presiding. <coughs> Please be seated, come to order. All right, Jose de Castro, 23CR01-3015. Good morning. Good morning. Chris Crowell on behalf of Mr. Castro. He's present. Nice to see you, Chris. Good morning. 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 Good they consider very poor in my courtroom. Uh, and and uh, Mr. DeCastro was convicted. He, he is given six months in jail. One thing I know he's going to do today is for no other purpose, no matter what your uh, ruling is, he wants to say sorry. I've asked him if he'd say sorry. To I mean, look at him. Really, it's all an act. Really. The, the fake waterworks and everything. How's the dungeon treating you, Chili? Boy. Court, I understand that you may see it as that he should have apologized to the marshal. I don't see the marshal in here that he did this. You know, didn't you used to be an actor? I'll at least try and make the tears look convincing. Because that's just fake garbage. One thing I would note for the court is that the issues that I saw seem to be significant constitutional issues. The court addressed it, but what I did notice is that this should have been really briefed beforehand on First Amendment issues, so the court could have had that. That's uh, no fault. Of, uh, I think it just should have been done beforehand. I also noticed that at time of sentencing, the state asked for a suspended sentence, but Mr. Castro just pushed it, pushed it, pushed it, and I see reasonably agitated and irritated the court into causing uh, a sentence that is now six months. This man, from what I can tell, Your Honor, has no prior felony convictions whatsoever. I'm doing that upon information and belief. I haven't run the scope. I know the state could do that, but I don't see that he has any felony convictions. He's made his appearances, and I think the time in jail has been shocking to him. I know it has because I can tell the reaction of the calls every day and how, how difficult it is for him. I think he pushed this and has uh, is learning a very, very difficult lesson in life. Um, well, he's the idiot that asked for all this. Oh, before the trial, he had, from my understanding, he had a plea offer that would have resulted in a no jail time whatsoever. Like, he, I think the offer was he would have had to do community service 
and writing an apology letter or something like that. But that was it. He was facing no jail time. But instead, even with all the evidence that he knew was against him, he decided to go to trial and he lost, plain and simple. Like, he he's an idiot that should have taken the Pui deal, honestly. But it's obviously he's not a very smart person, in my opinion. I would ask the court to consider, based upon his ties to the community, sister here, nephew, he has a whole bunch of people who wanted to come to court, which I suggested may be a very, you know, if it's, they're going to come here, be respectful and uh, mindful of what's already occurred in this court. But what I asked the court to do, given his lack of any serious criminal history, his remorse for his behavior in this courtroom during that trial, and uh, the fact that the state at the time did not want jail time, is I'd ask for an appeal bond, Your Honor, so that the issue can be, uh, these issues can be properly raised. And so with that, Your Honor, I asked for an OR. I would just say a reasonable bail. I, I would suggest that since he came to the trial, since he already has gotten a taste of what inappropriate behavior in a courtroom looks like and feels like, I would ask for a bail in the amount of ten or twenty thousand dollars, appeal bond in the amount of ten or twenty thousand dollars. With that, Your Honor, I see this. Your Honor, may I respond orally? Typically, uh, pursuant to the Nevada rules of criminal practice, the state has 10 days uh, to file an opposition, but this was placed on the calendar very quickly. So I would ask for leave of the court to answer um, orally. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, I'm in receipt of Mr. Orham's uh, motion for bail or any alternative for his own cognizance release. Um, I would note that NRS 178.488 um, does make discretionary upon this court whether he would allow bail pending appeal. Um, Mr. DeCastro, there has been a briefing schedule set before Judge Levitt in district court on the appeal, but it's not set to be heard until July. Um, I mean, come on, look at that. Freaking pathetic. That horrible fake crying. Like, the only reason, the only thing that you might be sorry for is you're sorry for yourself that you decided to play a stupid game and won a stupid prize and got yourself locked up in the first place. Boy, you know, you're you're right, Gary. Kim Blandino is a better actor than him. Like, really, th does he really think the judge is going to fall for the, the fake waterworks? <laughs> um, it's discretionary, Your Honor, as with a lot of the bail settings in Nevada, it's discretionary. And the state will oppose this, uh, this court setting a bail at this point. Um, there seems to be this assumption that this court sends Mr. DeCastro to six months um, in the Clark County Detention Center just because of his conduct or his inappropriate conduct in court. I would venture to say that Your Honor presided over the uh, over the trial where you found guilt beyond a reasonable doubt for both the obstructing a police officer and resisting a police officer. You saw his conduct um, in the in the body worn camera uh, by the officer, and I would venture to say, and I would submit to the court that the six month sentence that you imposed isn't simply for his behavior um, in court or his behavior to your marshals, but that it is an appropriate sentence um, placed upon the defendant by the court due to the charges and the evidence that you saw during the trial. Um, there's also been this claim that Mr. You know, the pastor was. Um, stay trouble free um, for most of his life. I would venture to say yes, he does not have felony convictions, he does not have gross misdemeanor convictions, but he does have pretty consistent contact with law enforcement. He does have a warrant out of Ohio for a trespass, and I understand that's a pending misdemeanor, however, it is a warrant status. Um, and he has a pending case in Las Vegas Justice Court um, for the very same offenses um, um, that the court heard um, during the trial uh, here. Um, as to the claim that, you know, hey, there were issues before trial, and there could have been First Amendment issues um, raised or briefed prior to, Your Honor, defense counsel was able to argue the First Amendment defense. Um, and we all know the First Amendment defense is both is BS, complete BS. Like, uh, I'm sorry, but him, just like every other frauditor in the world, him walking around with the camera harassing police officers and other, you know, citizens and public officials, 
has nothing to do with fighting for our First Amendment rights. See, their motive, as I've said many times, it's all about that YouTube revenue for them. All about the clicks and the views, trying to get into conversate, co confrontations, rather, get into confrontations and have those confrontations draw more views for their pathetic channels, which just means for them that they'll get more ad revenue off that video. Has absolutely nothing to do with defending our constitutional rights. Read the Constitution, Frauditors. You don't have the right to harass people. Um, your, your Honor heard these arguments both during the trial and during closing <clears throat> arguments. Um, Mr. DeCastro, when he took the stand, raised them um, as a defense. But Your Honor held, after listening to all of the evidence and applying the law, <laughs> or found him guilty um, regardless. This was not a First Amendment issue. The state stands by that. This was simply the defendant breaking the law. And he was sentenced accordingly for his behavior. It was a conduct, it was a consequence, an appropriate sentence um, imposed uh, by the court to the defendant. And so we would oppose any kind of change um, uh, or any kind of bail setting or an OR at this point. This is not a pre-trial detention. This is not a pre-trial, as Valdez Jimenez was cited also um, in defense counsel's motion. Valdez Jimenez stands for pre-trial detention. Mr. DeCastro is no longer cloaked with the presumption of innocence. He has been found guilty beyond a reasonable doubt by your honor. And so at this point, I would ask um, that the six months uh, sentence that you imposed stand and that he remain in custody. Yes, interpreter, quick reading. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Hang on. <coughs> so they jump over there. Uh, yeah, Merrick speaking. Oh. I, I, I'm talking about the oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Your Honor, the, the statute we cited is, uh, in, in fact, just discretionary to you to determine on appeal, pending appeal, whether uh, a bit of uh, appeal bond can be issued yeah, i i hear the state I, I recognize that you found it guilty i'm not trying to in any way argue that on appeal there are legitimate issues the court can see that you know there are some first amendment issues just from watching the video things that a, a court could consider on appeal and so that's the only uh, basis I, i'm bringing that up on but given the fact that i think he really is contrite for, for what he's done i disagree Watch the videos that have been posted since he's been incarcerated. I have. I'm in a murder trial. Okay, so, okay. so I, I had a chance. So he's going to apologize to me in a minute, but that's not what he's saying on what he's publishing online in his phone calls from the jail. That's not what he's saying at all. And are you aware that he has a trial pending in Las Vegas Municipal Court? He has a case pending in Good Springs Justice Court, where he continues to manufacture situations where he'll get arrested. Your Honor, I recognize that's what he was sort of doing for a living, and this is... Um... You know, here's the question I have, and I'm sure maybe some of you are also wondering this. Why is it that the constitutional law scholar who claims to know pretty much everything about the laws according to him, he knows the laws, he studies laws. Why does the constitutional law scholar need a lawyer I, he's now being incarcerated. Okay. And so what he's saying in the couple of weeks since he's been incarcerated, when he calls from the jail and publishes them on his website, is not what he's about to say to me. Okay? So he's going to apologize to me now, but that's not what he's doing publicly, okay? Yes, sure. I, I, I hear that. I, I won't have him speak at this time. But I would still ask you to consider that there may be legitimate issues. I think there are. For Judge Levitt to consider, and I think these are sort of issues of first impression. That was the other thing I saw, is that in the state of Nevada, I can't find any case law that specifically talks about this filming of police officers. I really, what I would say to the court is I recognize that it's obnoxious behavior. That's what it appears to be. Whether it's protected is another thing that I think higher courts need to look at. But I can see if the court has already made up the court's mind. Well, I, I want to be clear. I did Oh, and apparently, speaking of frauditors, 
it looks like Long Island Audits got arrested, according to a few Discord servers that I'm reading. Did not have a problem with him filming, and I said that when I sentenced him. That was not the issue. It was the safety issues that he created with his behavior. And I also did not sentence him because of his ridiculous behavior in court. Um, that wasn't why I sentenced him to jail. I sentenced him because I found him guilty beyond reasonable doubt, and I thought that was the appropriate sentence. I could have given him, given him 180 days on each count and ran it consecutive for a year in jail, but I didn't. Um, and his behavior was un, in, unacceptable in court, but that's not what I sentenced him for. I did not sentence him for his behavior in court. I sentenced him for his behavior for the two charges that he faced. Yes, Your Honor. All right, so your motion is denied. Thank you. Thank you. Motion denied. Excellent. Seems like a lot more frauditors are getting, finally getting what's coming to them. And right now, just out of curiosity, I'm on Long Island Audits channel right now. And he has a basically a dead stream running where looks like he was arrested. Fortunately, though, I can't seem to get any video to play of it. Ah, so it's a good day. Chili staying in jail. Long Island Audits goes to the dungeon. It's a great day. Boy. All right. Let's see what other videos do we have here. I think there was one, at least one other thing I wanted to play. Let's see. On September 2nd. Walmart shoplifting duo gets busted after self-checkout scam. 2022. Walmart's asset protection team and deputies observed a mom and daughter switching price tags on various items through self-checkout. She's either not scanning or understanding. So, but she scanned everything on this phone, or she might as not scan. So we're not scanning, correct? Some of them won't scan. Okay. So we're gonna let her walk walk out the front door and just. You, you grab, if you grab mom, I'll grab daughter, separate them. See yeah. if we can get the daughter in on the very good thing. All right, let's do it. Yes, 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 I'm coming. Hey. No, go, go for it. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Come on here. You have your first. Yes, sir. Take your phone. Yes, you have an idea with you? Uh, I do. I do to my first. In there, to my office. Do you have your receipt on here? Yeah, he's got it. Okay. Have a seat. Uh, Don't go reach in your pockets. No, no, no. Okay. Elizabeth. Yes. Sit up for him. Oh, can I sit? Okay. I'll be okay. sitting around. Okay. Please, my eyes Take your breath. Okay. 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 Zero, four, five, nine. 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 Okay. Yep. Alan, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. What are you trying to get out of your shirt? Nothing, nothing, I have nothing in my shirt. Nothing. I don't have anything. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Yes, sir. Okay. I don't, I didn't put anything in my shirt. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I didn't put anything in my shirt. Oh, my God. 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 O
fucking You were trying to get something out of your shirt. No, sir. Sure. I'll garbage. show you. Nothing. No. Okay. Well, if you weren't, then you got nothing to worry about, all right? Yes, sir. So what are we doing today? I was stealing stuff, obviously. Okay. How are you stealing stuff? I made my right? purse, and I changed some prices, too. Okay. So you have merchandise in your purse that you didn't pay yes, for? Yes, I do. This? Yep. This? And some toys, yeah. This? Yep. And yeah, the two balls, I think that's it. Okay. <laughs> How many prices did you change? Uh, just the one, I believe. No, she is not Mercury. <laughs> the hoop thing? Well, actually, it didn't go through. So, no. I think that was it. No, it didn't wouldn't go through. Like this. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. I did. I changed that too. Yeah. It was $10 difference. Yeah, we did. What do you want right now? Oh my god. I'm nervous. Uh, That's all. I'm just getting scared. Who's with you? Really my daughter. Your daughter? Uh, yeah. Does she know what's going on? I'm sure she knows why I'm getting in trouble, yeah. She what? I'm sure she knows why I just got in trouble. Is she helping you? No. She's helping me? No. My daughter never. She has no idea that I can do it. She probably knows. She knows. She probably no. She knows what I was doing, but she won't participate in it. Doesn't agree with me. Did you come to Walmart today with a specific intent to steal from the store? No, sir. We came here to look at the clearance, which I did. I had some stuff with the clearance. Oh God! And they sharpened back. That's why I came here. And that's the stuff I took. I paid for. Oh my God! So again, pass out. Just, I'm just nervous. What have you been asking for? Job thing. Okay. One other time. One other time. Okay. I can. Answers that question. Are you on parole or probation? No. No? Mm -hmm. How'd you get it? I drove. I got arrested for about four years ago. I'm such a fucking idiot, man. Huh? She's going to the loss prevention office. Hang out here. What's your first name? Emma. Emma? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We've been watching you and your mom. On the camera. Okay. Okay. What is going on today? I'll never understand stealing from Walmart, where it's like the last place you would want to steal from. There's cameras everywhere. I'm not sure what's going on with my mom, but yeah. no. Okay. So you're not aware of anything? What's been going on? What's been going on? Okay. Do I need to call my dad? Not right now. So, remind you, we've been watching on the cameras. Mm -hmm. Fancy cameras that Walmart spent a lot of money on that can zoom in on a plot. Okay. So, keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. We can zoom in where price tags used to be. Yeah. I'm giving you a chance, mm -hmm. Emma, okay, for, me, for you to tell me what's going on. Because if I have to go off the video, Right, you never put me in a horrible spot, right? That, you're back again. Nope, not worthy. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you want to tell me? I know my mom does some shitty stuff sometimes. I don't like it, but I okay. just try to turn my head. What kind of stuff? Like with the price tags, but that's what all I know about. What do you with the price tags? Um, just... The like she tries to find a better deal for certain other things. Okay. But so what does she? So what does she do? I don't know exactly because I try not to ask questions. Okay, so you are. But I know it's not. It's not right. Yeah. Okay. So you're aware of what she does? Half and half, kind of, but. Not exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should I call my dad? Because not, not, I'm not, on one percent and if I do obviously your mom has his number? Yes, but her phone's dead. <laughs> Give me dad's phone number. Just because we we have to sort everything out, I do not want to put you in mechanical screens if I don't have to. You are being detained, but not physically. You understand that so far? And so instead of, instead of me physically putting your restraints in front of everybody, 
I'm trying to avoid that. You do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have your lawyer present with you while you're being questioned. So you are aware that what your mom does. She takes the rice bags from one item and puts them on a different item, right? Yes, but not confirmed. I just kind of see it, but we don't talk about it. Did you see it today? With one thing, yes. With one thing? Yeah. Here. Like, I'm not, I'm not, sure I'm not trying to be a was. jerk here, but these are really fancy cameras. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we can take all day and review the footage from every row, every corner. And if I see that you look at the camera weird, if I see that you look on your shoulder weird, if I see that you did anything like that, you're, you're, Emma, you're backing me into a corner. I don't like being backed into a corner. I mean, at this point, there's no point really in lying to the cops. They already know what you've done. Like, really, just admit it. Because lying is just going to make things worse for yourself. Okay, so keep in mind, these are fancy cameras. Okay? So is it more than one thing that you saw for the, for the price tag? I, don't, I honestly don't really know. I mean, she does this sometimes, and like I said, I try to look away when she does it. I yeah. saw she got taped for the, she told me it was going to be for the price tag. She got tape? Yeah. Okay. Did she bring the tape with her, or did she, did she get the tape here? I don't know. I think it was from here, though. Okay. And, and what was the purpose of using the tape? To tape the clearance $5. Okay, was it yellow tape, red tape, clear tape? Clear. clear tape, okay. And you are aware of the purpose of using the clear tape? Uh, you're, yeah. you're aware, okay. So you understand why she was using the clear tape? Yeah. Okay. I just don't, I don't see anything because she's my mom and I know she struggles and I know it's wrong, it just. Okay. Did you at all physically help her? Whether it's peeling off a, a piece of tape and, and handing her that piece of tape so that way she could take that tape and put it on the barcode, code, or did, did you assist with peeling off an old? No, not with that. No, I, she asked me to go get her tape, but then by the time I got back, she already had tape. Okay. I did go get her tape, but then she didn't even need it. I actually paid. It wouldn't surprise me, Green Lord, if they do have facial rec recognition. That wouldn't surprise me. It seems like every year security and stuff like that is becoming more and more advanced. Okay. And prior to coming here, did you know what your mom was going to do? Yeah. Like I said, sometimes she just does it occasionally. Okay. Does she, does she say a, a code word? Does she give you a hint? That, or she just decides, spur of the moment, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. Okay. Hey, how we doing? Hey. Um, okay. Have you ever been arrested before? No. Have you gotten in trouble before? One time in New Jersey for being out past curfew, but no, not in trouble. How long have you been in Florida? Three or four years. Okay. So nothing like, nothing petty at the, at the schools? No. Uh, nothing when you were a juvenile under 18 where we had to, like, we had to call your mom or call your dad? Nothing? Okay. Okay. Straight A on our Okay. And you're 19? Are you in college? Yep. What, have you ever heard of uh, in concert by association or the getaway driver? Or, okay, so it's the old it's the old it's the old saying, the old story where you have the bank robbers and you have the actual robbers themselves and they run out to the car and the driver knows what's going on, he takes off, right? That's the getaway driver. Mm -hmm. That driver was aware of what was taking place inside the bank. Even though that even though the driver did not 
hold up the bank, did not carry the gun, did not grab the money, did not do anything in that bank, the driver was still charged with bank robbery or whatever happened, right? Okay. Okay, so it's basically in concert by association or that you're, you're the principal. So, you, so if law Oh, yeah, we, we just watched that video, and that was awesome. The fake crying and the fake tears. Uh, so good that the judge denied the motion for bail. Law enforcement can prove that you were aware and you had knowledge of said crime. You can be charged with that crime. Okay, so that's why I'm asking you these series of questions if you understood what your mom was doing. Okay. Like I said, I kind of do have a kind of do it. I just, she's my mom. Yeah. I don't want to get there, involved. Do you know where the daughter's at right now? She was up front with the other deputy. Right up front? Yeah, they, we grabbed both of them by the door. You know they found any items on her? I don't know. Actually, I think it might be in the vestibule there. All right, I'm going to go with something. I think I just saw her pockets. Because she never does that. Never. Never, ever, ever. So, we're still investigating with mom. Okay. I guess I guess she has some items on her. Um, and we still have to figure out uh, the price of everything. Do you find any items on her? Because I just watched the footage, it looked like she popped it something while she was in clothes. There's an ice pack. Yep, on there's me. an ice pack. Oh, my daughter. Okay. Yeah, I have to be Yeah, that's close. Oh, okay. Yeah, pin them. That's it. It's just an ice pack for lunch. Okay, we can get that Take care, Poodle Bob. Great to see you as always, my friend. The lunchbox? Oh, this? This is my phone. Well, it's my phone, no. Just hold on, okay, you know? Yeah. So, remember how I told you I didn't want to embarrass you with restraints and yeah. everybody, right? Mm -hmm. Trying to teach you and treat you decent. Yep. Okay. Do you have anything else on you? Okay. <laughs> have you ever been searched by a female deputy or an officer? Yeah. Okay. You gave this man a whole spiel about how he was. Unaware of this and how you going to school, you trying to do the right thing. I am. Why you had it? It's going to No, I understand. I hear, I understand. It's just that I I thought he was honestly going to ask me, and I was going to. I was. I swear to God, I was. But, and I don't know how much it was. In an aisle, my, it was in the car. No. Um, uh, no, I don't know where it was. Hey, hey, no talking. Keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. So, what's going on today? What are we doing? Shopping with my mom. Okay. Are you stealing stuff? I took the ice pack for my daughter. Yeah. Took the ice pack? Just the ice pack. Okay. Where'd you put it? In my pocket. They took it out over there. Okay. Were you helping your mom stealing the stuff that she was stealing? No. Yeah. Did you guys come here with a plan to steal stuff? No. Yeah. I'm not asking you, mom. I'm right? sorry. Okay. Can you ever been arrested for shoplifting before? No. You been arrested for anything before? No. <clears throat> So the only thing you took was the, the ice pack. The deputies then called the husband to inform him about the situation. I don't search this court anymore. Good, good. Unfortunately, I have your wife and your daughter here. Yeah. 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 I'll notify you of the incident, but also see if you to look at your granddaughters and they will not be able to. <laughs> no, she's got two handcuffs. Okay. And my daughter, too? Yep. My daughter was stealing? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. She held up on my own. All right, stand up. Can you help me hold in the front? 
Yeah, a felony is no bond. Okay, stand up. Yes, ma'am. Do you have anything on you that's going to fuck for me? Anything like that? Do you have anything on you that I should not find? No. No, I was right here. Okay. Say, well, if I don't find it and you go into the jail with it, it's another charge. You understand that, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so are you done lying to me? Yes. What else is on you? Nothing. What is that? It's not a It's what? Drugs. Okay, what, what kind? kind? Meth, heroin, fentanyl? Yeah, drugs yes. Yeah, drugs on it? Yes. Hey, got him. We're right. Uh, shoplifting and having drugs. Just keeps getting worse for her. All right, let's get him. Where are they at? Right here. Oh, which one that at? In the right wrong way? Yeah. Uh, you were trying to throw it away. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, you Do you have anything on you? Yeah. Are you sure? Um, if you don't make the same mistake your mom did, because I will find it. Hold on, by the way. Like seriously, how dumb can you be as a criminal, not only to shoplift, but to shoplift while having drugs on you? Seriously, that's just real stupidity right there. Is this something that you stole too? I think so. I don't know. But she didn't I didn't know it was it. in there. Did you bring this in the I store with you or did you get it from no, the store? I didn't bring it in the store with me. Yeah. But I would have taken it out of the backpack if I had known that it was on there. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. And they searched it out there. So, do you know anything else you have on you that you bring into the jail is another charge, okay? Yep. Yeah. So, you better get all done today. You want me to just put this in my glove? Uh, she says yeah. it's Smith. Come on. Yeah. Hey, well, I said no talking, no, right? Sorry, no. And you are in no position to be scolding your daughter right now. You're just as bad as she is. Keep your mouth shut. Worse. Worse. Don't talk back to me. Keep your mouth shut. So I will call Ben and see if um, he's cool. Um, him taking the first one that we called, we were going to take it. But just, just tell me, man. You can tell me that he's there. I'm probably going to have one more video today. But that's a shorter video. Did your husband know you were a man? No. Then my kids and my husband sat down and I was talking to the last thing. They said, you know you're on something, you stuff, blah, blah, blah. And I've been doing it occasionally here and there. And I had it stuck. I was in a fucking budget too. Because like, I had a whole intervention for my family last night. I was like, this is not worth it. Not worth it. My family. I was going to force it. And I forgot I had the damn night. thing in my pocket. You had a whole intervention last night and you still got stuff on it. Like, yeah, it's going to get rid of it. I totally forgot it was in my pocket until I came in here. I was like, oh my God. It wasn't in your pocket. It was shoved down the front of your pants. Well, I did that after I got in here. Oh, my God. Take care, Jesse. Uh, yes. Right, yeah, yeah. that's what that was. $137 per dollar. Okay. Is it $137 or $87? It's so the one that's highlighted, that's what she paid for. All the, these three are that she didn't pay for. So, uh, so yeah, it was $137. Okay. Uh, it's on, okay. <laughs> on no, that's what they paid for. And the car tags and everything. Yep, yep. All that was when I correct. 
Okay. Ladies, repeat. You guys hear everything you need from us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Okay. What? I don't know. Is somebody coming to pick up this stuff? Uh, not at the moment, no. Okay, you're taking them? Uh, yeah. So what we're going to do, ma'am, like how I refunded you for that, we're going to refund all this stuff. It's going to go right back on your car, okay? All right. All right. Indeed, it isn't, Gary. Man, let's just call back here. It's just here in handcuffs. You call that one, okay? <laughs> So let's see, they were both arrested for felony, scheme to defraud, shoplift, and retail theft, and the mother was also charged with possession of a controlled substance. Boy, see, it never pays to shoplift, especially in a place as big as Walmart. Like, you, you can't get away with that stuff here. All right, so this next video, which will probably be the final video for today, I just had to take a look at this based on the title. How much you had to drink today? Man drives drunk to police station. Well, like really, just when I think I've seen stupidity at its finest, it always seems like someone has to raise the bar even higher. Why would you drive drunk to a police station? Oh boy. How much you had to drink today? Huh? And tomato soup and grilled cheese. Sandwich. Okay, I'm no, we're not talking about that. I'm talking about alcoholic beverages. No. Let's see. It says a man showed up to the Middleburg Heights police station to obtain a tow release. When the officer told the man he would have to come to the back, come have to come back later, the officer smelled alcohol on him. Oh boy. Then it says the officer watched the man leave and saw the man get into the driver's seat of his vehicle. The man then saw the officer and got out of his vehicle. You got driving privileges? Yes. Do you have it on you? Let me take a look at them. It's three o'clock. Yes, sir. It's a bit sick. What, three weeks. Oh, what is what is you being sick have to do with you driving up here? My brother, come up here with me. I did not. What's your brother's phone? Um, one. I can't even think about that. Always two drinks. Dude, I'm not fucking with you. I am not. What's your brother's phone number? This is the second time I'm going to ask you. The last time I'm going to ask you, rather. Where's your phone? Right here. All right. I'm sure you have your brother's phone number in there. You calling him? Yeah. Hey. Here, give me the phone. Stop. Don't believe you drove me up here to Middleburg Heights. Give me the phone. Stop lying. Stop. Hey, Bruce. Hello? Do you know your brother has your vehicle? This is Officer Nessa with Middleburg. Are you aware your brother has your vehicle? Yes. Okay. 
The, the green Camry? Yeah. Okay, and he drove up here, correct? No. Or are you up here with him? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to make sure, because he's lying over here, saying lying. that you uh, drove him up here. And Okay, that's all I need to know. Yeah. Try, try better next time, all right? You got anything on you? No. Clay? All right, just say right there. This is... Who's up here trying to do business? Somebody's gonna have to come get the car anyway. Yeah, well, you shouldn't be driving. <sighs> Knees or anything like that. Any issues with vision? Knees or anything like that? Okay, go ahead and take off the glasses for me. Okay. Set them over here. Okay. You've done this before, obviously, right? No. And it looks like we're getting another edition of the Sidewalk Olympics. I got to do this. Correct. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so tip of the pin, okay. you're going to follow that tip of the pin okay. with your eyes only. You're okay. going to keep your head still. You cannot move your head. Okay. All right, get your both hands out your pocket and put them down on your side. Okay. All right, follow the tip of my pen. Do you see that tip right there? Yes, sir. All right, follow it with your eyes and eyes only. See? Nope, okay. I'm not, I didn't tell you to stop, right? Sorry. I said follow it with your eyes and eyes only. If only he knew about the trifold, because that always helps in situations like these. <laughs> Keep looking at the pen. Okay, I'm sorry. Nope, Thought don't. You Keep your head still. You Keep your head. Yep, he definitely failed this test. So look at the pen, all right? Head still. Okay. See? Yep. Yep. Keep looking at it. Listen to me. Your eyes and eyes only. I don't want you to move your head towards it. All right? Okay. I'm trying to be as specific as I can, no. but you're not following orders. Right. Let's try this again, all right? There you go. Thank you. How much you had to drink today? It's to drink. Huh? And tomato soup. Maybe, maybe the American will take the medal since the Swedish team has to pull out of the competition without competing in the events. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm no. We're not talking about that. I'm talking about alcoholic beverages. No. I've been sick. I've been sick for three fucking weeks. Can't even talk. Right. Let's, let's just turn this out with your eyes. All right, don't. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. This is the last portion right here, okay? Okay. Fine. Okay. All right, so this next test is going to require you to take some steps. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yes. Um, let's use this as a line. Okay. Start here. All right. Okay. okay. All this food talk in the chat is making me hungry. Oh, boy. Okay, put your right leg, okay, right leg in front of your left. Yep. Touch heels or toes. You're going to touch heels or toes. Okay. Arms on your side. No, I didn't tell you to stop. Get back. Get back. Okay, here we go. Okay, right foot in front of your foot, just like what I'm doing right now. Yep. 
Most likely, Casey. It wouldn't surprise me if that was the case. You're going to keep your hands down on your set. I didn't tell you to start. I'm just explaining the test to you. you got me and I'll be uh, demonstrating it as well. Get in the position I'm in right now. Okay. Right foot in front of your left foot. Touch heels or toes. Arms down on your side. I didn't tell you to start. Okay. When I tell you to start, this is, that's when you start. All right, you're not listening. Right leg in front of your left foot. Touch heels or toes. Do not move. Both arms down on your side. Right. Yep. Both. Nope. Not in your pocket. Down on your side. Okay. Down on your side. Okay. Right foot in front of your left foot, touching heels to toes. I didn't I'm tell you to start. Okay. I'm when sorry. I tell you to start, that's when you start. Okay. Let's try this again. Right foot in front of your left foot. Arms down on your side. Remain in that position. Do not move. Do not start. Okay, when I tell you to start, you're going to take nine steps down this line right here, this white line, okay? All right? You're going to turn around. Once you reach your nine step, you're going to take some small steps, turn around, and you're going to take nine more steps back this way, all right? So you might want to pay attention because I'm going to demonstrate this to you, all right? This is the starting position, which you're not in right now. Correct. All right. When I tell you to begin, you're going to take nine steps up the line, touch them heels to toes, counting out loud while you look down at your feet, set, hands down on your side. Assuming this is your ninth position right here, you're going to pivot, turn around, you're going to take nine more steps back up the line. Do you understand the instructions? All right, count out loud, look at your, look down at your feet, down on your side and count out loud, all right? Ready? You're not in the proper starting position. All right, go ahead and start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, judges, I'm going to say that was another epic fail. Good. So complete the test as I explained it to you. All right. So listen, this next step is going to require you to lift one foot off the ground, uh, approximately six inch. Just move up a little bit. Yeah. Thanks. That's yeah. Thanks. Um, so yeah, this next step is just going to require you to lift either foot of your choice, okay. uh, six inches off the ground. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to explain everything to you, right? So assuming this is your position, when I tell you to lift up either leg, whichever you choose, whichever you're more comfortable with, you're going to lift it up six foot, six inches off the ground, just like this, right? Okay. And then while your arms are down on your side, you're going to count in this manner. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. You're going to continue counting until I tell you to stop. Do you understand? Yeah, I got a bad right knee, so I'm going to do my left. Go ahead. Okay. 1,001. Down, down by on your side. Okay. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. I didn't tell you to stop. And he failed that test as well. Remember, I told you to keep counting until I tell you to stop. Down's on your side. Your hands needs to be over here. Look. Okay, your foot needs to be It's always medical issues. Bad legs, bad knees, an injured shoulder, a broken arm, a broken hand, a, dis a, a broken brain. Um, What else? If you can name the injury, these criminals probably have it. You know, alcoholism is not a medical issue, in my opinion. To be up here. Okay. And you're going to count out loud until I tell you to stop. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. I didn't tell you. Listen. Listen to me carefully. You're going to continue counting until I tell you to stop. All right? So go ahead and try it again. Go ahead, continue. Yeah, they can just arrest him at this point, seriously. I didn't tell you to stop, did I? Okay. <laughs> All right, dude. You're too intoxicated. No, I'm not intoxicated, bro. Yeah, this it's very foolish that you... So he came uh, to get a toll release. He's currently under a 
Um, turn around, don't. There, 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 there. Hang on. I see yeah, you, you got driving privileges. Yeah, that's, 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 that's all right. I was up there by 3 p.m. That's all right. Yeah, but you shouldn't be driving and drinking, right? Yeah, I just got up here and I can spell it now. No. It's strong, dude. Yeah, absolutely you, not. Okay. That's it. Take care, Dave. Have a great day, my friend. Thank you for hanging out. Is that the ticket? My ticket? Yeah. I'm up there to settle business. All right. I got to get whatever inside your pocket. Where am I going? We're going back to station, and then we're gonna. There's gonna be some more tests that you're gonna have to. Uh, just got a pen. Anything else? Tucked away hidden anywhere? I think he's got keys. This is the vehicle that he was driving. That's his brother's vehicle. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Let's see. Let's go. I'm going to bring your glasses for you. Can you put them on so I can see? Yep. Thank you, Greg Jonick, for the five gifted memberships. <laughs> Thank you for your generosity and support. I appreciate that. And welcome to the new members. Who do we have here? Anastasia, P. Barnes, Koba. Ellie, I think that's how you pronounce that. Marty, welcome. And thank you again, Greg, for your support and generosity. Third is ready. Go ahead. That mail is under for OVA. Copy. Oh, I missed. What happened to your head? You alright? Shit, I'll just go. Hey, Karen Nightwall. Hey, Nick. Unbelievable, man. I just got a hug. Um, he's driving me up. Hmm? He was driving. This. No, it wasn't. Yeah, he drove it up here. He just parked it up here so he doesn't. Uh, so we don't see him. So he walked back. I drove up here and he was getting in the driver's seat. But he's. I just got my paperwork out. So, real quick. That would be crazy. And that's where the video ends. Boy, but how dumb do you have to be to go to the police station and drive drunk there? Like, seriously. Like, come on, you can't be that stupid in life, can you? Like, make it make sense, people. If you know you're drunk, why even go there in the first place? That is crazy. All right, everyone. I think this is where we will wrap up today's stream. Been streaming for almost three hours and 15 minutes. So, had a good stream today. A lot of craziness. Chili De Castro staying in jail. And that other frauditor got arrested. What was his name? Boy, just a ton of of crazy videos today. I do want to give one more shout out and thank you to everyone that contributed during today's stream. So real quick, once again, thank you to Jack Gunner for the $10 super chat. Thank you to Casey for the 10 gifted memberships. Thank you to Dave Malik for being a member for six months. Thank you to Greg Jonick again for the five gifted memberships. And thank you to Anastasia for the $20 Amazon gift card. I should be streaming again Wednesday. I know I said that last week and that didn't happen, but plan for at least as of now is to stream again Wednesday. So yeah, hopefully 
you all can be here then. Also, be sure to join our Discord server if you want to hang out, continue some conversations. That's where we all hang out when we're not streaming. So yeah, just put the Discord command in the chat. And yeah, just want to thank all of you for hanging out as always, supporting the channel, liking the streams and videos. And thank you all for your continued support. And yes, our OP Live Discussions channel every weekend. It should be back this week. They took this past weekend off because of Easter. And yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for me for today. Going to go probably grab something to eat now. And yeah, thank you all again for all of your support. And as always, I will see you all next time. Take care, everyone.